don't understand what's going on here. Hello everyone! Hi, 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 hi. How goes it? Happy Friday, everybody. Welcome back. Today I'm going to be playing a lot more Final Fantasy XIV and getting back into the main story quest. I also wanted to talk about the Goblin, uh, sorry, Cobalt Plushie, which there is only one week left to buy. If you would like yourself a Cobalt Plush as designed by Chris Zito, uh, use the uh, command exclamation point cobalt and uh, yeah grab yours because uh, after they're done they're not being sold again so you can have cobalt that goes with your goblin heck yeah gonna be starting pretty soon but before we actually start Final Fantasy uh, I have a few things that I want to show you guys what's the cobalt's name that is up to you okay Let's see yeah nice song to go with so also, let me know how the audio sounds as well. 
if it's uh, too loud, too quiet. But uh, we're gonna do the odd face cam. Hey, hello. Finally get to catch a stream and it's a Final Fantasy XIV stream. I love this game, yeah. Uh, Jaffa Twitch Fiend, thank you for the three months. Slowly working on trying to get all my jobs to 80 before Endwalker. Good luck. So I can focus on Sage. Just glad I managed to get the pre-order in and got the up to level 80 earring. Such a time saver. Oh yeah, it's very convenient. So yeah, it's FaceTime. The reason why it's FaceTime is uh, because I got a couple of things. Uh, the first thing that I got, I got something from Wizards of the Coast. They're always so nice and send me stuff. Also, pardon my messy room. Uh, they sent me something. I got this. Oh, jeez. I got this in the mail. I'm just gonna put my earphones over here. I got this in the mail, this big box. Uh, that had like a jester on it from from Wizards. And I was like, what the, what the heck is this big box? And uh, it is apparently what looks like a Thanksgiving sort of thing or something. And I opened it and I was like, whoa, that's a lot of stuff in there. Move my microphone a little bit, sorry. Get lost in adventure. So, uh, yeah, Wizards sends me stuff. They're very nice and I very much appreciate it. And I thought I might as well like look through one on stream, right? Uh, Cause I've never done that before. So that, that could be pretty fun. Uh, let's see. So we've got a ticket to adventure that, um, I don't know what this is. You're invited. Your ticket. I, I don't know what this is. It's just like, I've got two days left. September 23rd to 26th. I don't know what it is. Twitch.tv slash dnd. dndcelebration.com. What is, what is this? What is this? What is this, wizards? Uh... What is this? Join friends from around the world to celebrate the release of The Wild Beyond the Witchlight. Oh. With a weekend of virtual gaming, including Witchlight Carnival, Epic Panels. Oh, okay, it's an online panel. Oh, and it's uh, Extra Life. That's a charity. That's very nice. Oh, my camera. Whoops. Whoop. Hello, camera. There we go. That should uh, hopefully fix things. Yeah, I, I, this, I might need to be doing a lot of resetting because my camera's been having a lot of these problems. Uh, I guess because I never use it. But, let's see, we have a little note. Get lost in adventure. Something wicked this way comes. Once every eight years, the fantastic witch-like carnival touches down on your world. Uh, bringing joy to one settlement after the next. You're in luck. The witch-like carnival has arrived. Okay, there's a lot here, so I'm not going to read the whole thing. But, wow. Okay, I got a... What is this? Bright Might Dimple Cotton Candy. Is this cotton? Is this actually cotton candy? <laughs> Did they send me cotton candy? Hold on. I'm also just checking back on my screen, like, quickly to make sure things are still going. Oh. Camera? Oh gosh. Yeah, this is actually, this is actually cotton candy. This is real cotton candy. All right. Okay. Camera, please. Camera, why you do this? The one time, the one time I actually want to show off my, something with my camera. This doesn't work. I wonder why it's doing that. It's so strange. Is it delicious? Yeah, it's all right. It definitely tastes like cotton candy. Imagine not playing Halo Infinite right now. I didn't get invited. Bleh. 
A gift to help you keep track of time and hither. Thither and yawn. Oh! It's a magnetic hourglass. Look, it's got like the mag like the 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 sand inside is magnets. So it uh it sticks together. Hold on, let me see if I can fix this camera. Auto buffer or something. I don't know. Yeah, that's neat. Wow. Pharaoh dust? What are we opening? We're opening something that wizards sent me. Wizards of the Coast. Uh, ooh. Some witch light carnival dice. This is a hefty box for dice. Look. Look at these dice. Orange. Why is it so hefty? What is in here? Hold on. This is like a hefty box. No way this is only containing the dice, right? Come on. Come on. Even so, even if it is, this is a very nice container. Ooh, there's something in here. Hold on. Oh! These are like... These are like maps! For an art and posters and stuff. Oh, it's the Witchlight Carnival! Look! It's a map of the Witchlight Carnival! Wow. I don't know if they're metal dice. No, these are these are plastic dice. What's hefty is the box and what's inside, which is a lot of papers. Feywild trinkets! Tiny Electrum whistle that only Fey can hear. Pixie plushie that sings when you squeeze it. Hourglass without sand in it. It's like a it's like a rollable trinket paper. Oh, and there's like are these, are these, uh, creatures? Outside the Cyclops. This game requires you to outstare. Oh, these are like little side quests that you can do. Outstare the Cyclops. This game requires you to outstare an illusory Cyclops. Whoever blinks first loses. To win this game, you must succeed on a DC 14 constitution check. If you win the game, determine your prize by rolling once on the carnival prizes table. Oh, it's carnival games! Catch the fairy dragon by the tail. Oh my gosh! I predicted, look, I predicted catching the fairy dragon. In the, by making the animation. Oh, wow. While blindfolded and standing in a booth, you must grab the tail of an elusive, giggling fairy dragon that flutters around you. You have three chances to succeed on a DC 18 wisdom perception check. If you succeed, roll once on the carnival prize table or twice if the successful check occurs on first try. Wow. Oh, there's like tons of these things. Wow. That's cool. Oh, there's so many. That's neat. That's really neat. I'm gonna I'm gonna use these. I'm gonna steal this. I'm definitely. This makes me want to run a carnival game, like a carnival one shot. What is this from? Uh, the witch like carnival apparently. Um, wizard sent me this box that has a bunch of witch like stuff. I'm definitely gonna use this. Carnival one shot. <gasps> Did they send me the book? Is this a new book? The witch light beyond the wild beyond the witch light. Oh, this. Oh, it got sticky. Ew. Some of the stuff got stuck to it. Yeah, they sent me the book. Whoa, and they sent me the alternate cover. Whoa. Okay, so here's the normal one. I guess this is a new uh, supplement book. Yeah, they, they usually send me two books, and it's really cool, because I give away the normal book, and then I keep the cool one. 
I might give this away on stream. I was gonna give away something else, but I, I might give this away as well on top of that. Okay, so th is this like a campaign setting or something? Yeah, it's got like maps and stuff. Uh, Feywild Adventure. This is a straight up module. It's a straight up adventure book. So sorry about the camera, everybody. I don't know how to fix it. But yeah, here's the alternate cover. Look at this. It's a straight up like carnival poster. That's so neat. And here's the back. That's so cool. I'm keeping this one, but I might give this one away, the normal cover. Just, uh, put this over here. Whew. Okay, we've got only got a few more things. We've got a bunch of this, like, stuff. <laughs> it's like carnival grass, I guess. We've got little, what are these, tonics? Okay, I think that's it. Another box to throw in the garage. What are these? Are these like... Witch Light Carnival Ambient Spray. Cantrip Candles. Oof. Ooh, that's strong. It's like a... I don't know what it smells like. I was gonna say like cinnamony, but like... Like some kind of... Like... Pastry of, of some kind. Okay, what is this one? Uh... Domain of Delight. Okay. Kind of like that one. This one's this one's more like this one's more herby. This one kind of smells like um, gra gratong. Do we have any Thai people in the chat? The the like boats, the the little boat with the with the flower with like the lotus flower. That's what this smells like. Yeah, I like this one. I like Domain of Delight. This one's good. This one's a little strong. Witch like carnival. This one's a little strong, but I like this one. Wow, that's so cool! That's so cool. You could make it like a like a smell like a little perfume, like a dressing area, or you could make it smell like like the the general outside carnival. Wow, I'm not giving these away. I I, I don't feel confident. Yeah, these are glass. I don't I don't feel confident shifting those. But I am gonna give away the first thing I'm gonna give away today. As thanks for you guys joining into the stream. I should have I should have put it in the announcements that I was gonna give something away. But oh well. Hey, uh, that way the people who wanted to come watch for me are coming to watch for me instead of uh, coming to watch for the for the giveaway. I wanted to give away this this box, this massive box right here that has something uh, where I get to simultaneously announce that Sunday I will be joining in to play uh, this challenge uh, as set up by Alcat Games, the developers of uh, of Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. And I am going to be in a challenge called the Las Aslanti Streamer Challenge, where we play on Aslanti mode, which is basically Iron Man mode, where the game auto saves, you cannot reload your save, and if your party dies, you're out. And I'm gonna be playing that every Sunday at uh, noon. And uh, I'm gonna see how far I get. I don't know anything about Pathfinder. Uh, I tried the game a little bit when I was going to do a CCC on it. Uh, I got a little bit of early access to it. And I have an NPC in the game. It's not, it's named like Joe, Joe Cottle or something. And uh, if you buy the game, you might find him. Uh, you might find me in there. Yeah, and I, I helped, uh, assist in writing like a little side quest that uh, he's got. Maybe maybe I might reach him, who knows? Maybe I might reach me. But the reason why I wanted to, to, to show that is because Alcat Games sent me a figurine slash statue and it is massive. 
and I don't have anywhere to put it, and also I'm not into figures, so I'm gonna give it away to you guys. I'm gonna do a little giveaway. Uh, however, I will preface this that whoever handled the packaging must have been very rough with it uh, because some pieces kind of came off as I was taking this foam off. Uh, there's like layered foam. So whoever it goes to, keep in mind, you may have to re-glue some pieces. Like uh, for instance, oh god, oh god, oh god, this arm came off. Um, oh geez, this arm for the figure. Uh, oh my god, what is this? Oh, that's a shoulder piece. Okay, that uh, pauldron came off too. Oh man, I'm so sorry. Whoever, but uh, yeah, I, I'm scared of pulling out the entire thing. So I'll just move the camera closer or like pull this up. But uh, it looks like some kind of skeleton dude. I don't know if you can see it right in there. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I'm going to be sending that to someone because I don't know. I, I'm not really into these figures. Um, it takes a very specific figure to catch my eye. And also I'm worried that I will be destroying it further. Uh, but I'm going to be giving this away to anyone who wants a Pathfinder figure. Uh, just a big armored skeleton dude. Uh, skeleton man! Skeleton man! Calcium strength, skeleton man! Uh, but yeah, I'll be giving that away. Primarily. Hopefully, they handle the packaging with a bit more care than whoever handled this. Uh, yes, and that will be the first giveaway. The second giveaway will be the uh, Wild Beyond Witch Light book normal cover so yes yes indeed yeah. I did not put that in the right order that's okay not my problem anymore I think that I will only make things worse if I try to fix it so let me just move some things around real quick my room is a mess that dice fell out, my earphones fell, uh, this over here. So that will be the first giveaway that we will, we will be doing, that we will be giving away and doing a raffle for. So let me just set that up, and then once that starts, we will begin more Final Fantasy. Uh, what's the next idea for Gobble Ventures or Makeshift? You will have to find out. So, uh, the giveaway will start uh, now and I think the command is exclamation point raffle to get your entry. If you are a subscriber to the channel, you will have two tickets. If you are a viewer, you will have one and you must be a follower in order to be a uh, 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 eligible to win. But uh, yeah, so. Uh, Pathfinder statue figure thing. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of entries. Okay, let's, uh, in the meantime, let us get back into Final Fantasy. Whoop. And a boop. Oh, geez. There I am. Okay. Okay, back into the game. It's been a while. Uh, last time, we were actually in the middle of something. We were in the middle of something. We were going to watch a cutscene, actually. And let me just BGM. There we go. Whoa, Death Bill! Thank you for gifting five subs. Much appreciated. Let me just start New Game Plus again. Resume. Yes, we were returning to the Waking Sands after it had been basically annihilated. Yeah, so right now I am raffling a Pathfinder statue thing, figure, of like a skeleton man that is in like some armor and stuff. 
There we go. We were going to look at those cutscenes. Yeah. Horizon. Here we go. Is the giveaway eligible for outside the U.S.? Yes. Uh, however, I will need your information. I will need first and last name because shipping internationally requires first and last name. But yes, I will require that information. <gasps> Boozle! Oh, that was 13 minutes ago. I missed it because I was not... I didn't have my earphones in. You are good, Meng, making bagel bar be more hurt like ouch, ouch, and big robot explored and then line in ha ha ha. You know the line, right? Hehe, <laughs> go ha 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 and squint menacingly at you. <laughs> Thank you, Boozle. Yes, I do remember the line. I do. Right now we're going back to the Waking Sands to check in with everybody. And what's funny, I, I actually, <laughs> the last thing I did was call the Hurricane, Hurricane Ida, while Ida was there, but it's not pronounced Ida, it's Ida. Hurricane Ida. Like Idaho. Dang, Ida. Yes, going back into the Waking Sands, which is completely darkened. Yeah, very ominous. Hello, Alphano. Sid, got anything to say? I had no idea, Victor. I can only imagine how you felt when you returned that day. Mm. Tell me, Victor, does odd here strike you as odd? I see no signs. Uh, I see signs of recent ha uh, habitation. Could it be that we have we have trespassers? Hmm. Mayhap it is just my imagination. Come, let us proceed into the solar. All right, and cutscene time. Wait. Oh, who goes there? Now, now, Ida, is that any way to greet a friend? Oh, let me increase the volume a bit. Alphino, Victor! Sid? What? Wait, is this a dream? Not that I'm aware of. It's been a while, Ida. Oh, he remembers her. I, I don't believe it. I was sure you'd been... This place has seen better days. Uh, uh, you know, I wasn't actually here when I... I was still in the talks at the Adder's Nest. The first I knew about it when I came back and... And I saw... Ida. The church had taken care of the bodies, but that still left the stains. It was hard to know where to start if Ishtola hadn't been here to help me. Ishtola is here too? Yes, uh, but she's not here right now. She's gone to Uldar to meet with a man who might know what happened to the others. Papalimo and Minfilia weren't among the dead, according to the church. Ishtola thinks they were taken somewhere. Upon the orders of the Black Wolf, no doubt. Ah, uh, yeah, we finally met Gaius. Why would he want them? Because they possess something he desires. Knowledge of another power that can be brought to bear against the primals. One that Gaius has yet to harness. Ah, uh, the Echo. The Echo. Gaius will be aware of its existence, as well as the immunity it grants to the gifted to the primal's influence. Powers, uh, powerful though his elegant weapon may be, he would doubtless desire such protection. He means to use Minfilia to gain an understanding of the Echo. None of which explains how the Empire came to know the location of the Waking Sands in the first place. Yeah, we, we don't know who the Mole was. There was a mole, apparently. No matter. The Empire has shown its hand, and now we must act. 
It is up to us to rebuild the Scions and save Eosia. Can I count on you, Ida? What? Oh, yes, yes, of course. Whatever you need. We can discuss our next move upon Ustola's return. For now, I say we rest. Da 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 da. Ah, oh, sleepy boy. Here. Don't look up my skirt. Feel that is that is a very unflattering think. pose. What are you looking at, chat? Oh. I still don't know what this vision is, or I don't remember what its significance is. Hmm. Bringer of light. Brave gatherer of the crystals, thy soul burneth bright. Oh yeah, that's right. It's Shadowbringers, right, right. Yeah, no spoilers. All made one. Hearken unto me now, for the darkness doth begin to spread. Where thee the bearer of the crimson brand? Wow, this far back. For he is the avatar of shadow, whom death attendeth always. Zodiac. The crystals shall be thy salvation. Thy blade and shield, both. Can I have a blade and shield besides, as well? Steal thyself, for at the appointed hour, thou shalt stare into the heart of darkness. Go with caution, my child, but fear not, for I am ever with thee. Who's there? Oh, it's Ishtola. She's fine. Ishtola! Victor, I see you and Alphino are safe. And... and Sid. That we five should meet each other thus defies simple explanation. It is as if the benevolent hand of Master Louis Soir guides us still. He would not see us undone so easily. Not now, when he need when the need is so great. Oh, I like that they have his staff up there. Yeah, no no spoilers, please, for those who are experiencing the story with us. I know where Minfilia and the others are being held. Where? An imperial stronghold in the heart of Mordona, Castrum Sentry. Hmm. So this is the first instance of going to a Castrum. Is that a Gorb emote? You bet it is! So we can all ascend to greatness with Gorb. Guys may have called it a weapon of ancient Alag, but I saw extensive Magitek modifications. Hmm. An Imperium Castrum. It was not to be expected, I suppose. It was to be expected, sorry. All right, let's do this. Let's go and rescue Minfilia and the others. Ystola wishes to discuss the fate of the prisoners being held at Castrum Sentry. The rescue of our allies will be no small undertaking, Victor. What's a Castrum? It's essentially a stronghold. It's just a big, like, military camp. Even under normal circumstances, breaching the defenses of an Imperial Castrum would be a highly dangerous proposition. But now that Castrum Sentry 
houses prisoners whom the Garlean deem valuable. We may be confident that they have taken additional measures to ensure the stronghold security. If we are to free our friends, we will require an effective strategy. And if we are to formulate an effective strategy, we will require intelligence. And to require intelligence, we need to pump all of our points into intelligence. And in order to pump points into intelligence, first we must grind experience so we may level up. And in order to grind experience to that we may level up, we must first needs destroy many monsters. I believe I know a man who may be able to assist us in this. Lord Portalane of House Durandare. Oh, oh, wait. Is House Durandare the good one? Do we like that guy? He is stationed at the observatorium in Corthus. Let us go to him and beseech his aid. All right. I don't remember if this guy was like nice to us afterwards. By the way, there is a raffle going on currently that I'm giving away a Pathfinder uh, statue figure thing of a skeleton man in like blue, like armor with a robe or something. It looks neat. If you want a statue or like a figure, giving it away, you can enter uh, and get a ticket with exclamation point raffle. Uh, viewers get one ticket, subscribers get two. Yeah, New Game Plus is basically me playing through the story that I have already played. Uh, but, again, and with all of my unlocked skills and stuff, so that I can re-experience the story, since uh, I need a little bit of a refresher. Let's see. Is this the way? No, this is not the way. Okay, yeah, this guy was nice to us. I like this guy. He helped us uh, prove that a non-heretic was not a heretic. Ah, Victor, the man who unmasked the heretic in our midst. To who do I owe the pleasure of your company? You are an associate of Ishtola, but of course. Lord Drillmon confide, uh, confided to me that you were a sign of the Seventh Dawn. Castrum Sentry. What interest have you in all the, uh, you all in the Imperials? They hold several of our number whom we intend to free. Any information you can provide would be greatly appreciated. I see, that might explain our scouts' reports. They observed four prisoners being led into the castrum, a Huron woman, an Elizan man, and two Lalafell. One ma male and one female. <gasps> That's our friends. It's them, it has to be. Minfilia, Uriange, Papalimo, and Tataru. If that scant morsel is of use to you, you may be interested to hear about a more recent incident. Incident? An Imperial airship has, uh, an Imperial airship made an emergency landing here in Corthus not long ago. Two men believed to be prisoners, a Rogadin and a Lalafell, were seeing fleeing the air, uh, fleeing the craft. <gasps> Biggs and Wedge! What did you say? A Rogadin and a Lalafell, Master Garland. Neither wore Imperial dress, and both seemed disinclined to wait for rescue. Hence our assumption that they were prisoners. Well, I'll be damned. It's Biggs and Wedge. Trust those two rascals to escape. We must find them, Victor, and soon. The Imperials will not rest until they are captured or killed, and if Biggs were given the choice, I fear he'd take the latter. Freeing those held in Castrum Sentry will require substantial planning and preparation. As such, it is an endeavor that will admittedly uh, admit some slight delay. The matter of the escapees, by contrast, will not. Shortly after the prisoners vacate the airship, our scouts observed Imperial troops setting off in pursuit. It is likely only a matter of time before they catch them. If you wish to see your comrades again, you had best act now. Let's go get them! If, as has been suggested, the Garleans took our fellow Scions prisoner in hopes of understanding the Echo, it seems reasonable to assume that they will not be executed until such a time as the study is complete. 
but Biggs and Wedge are not scions, nor do they know aught of the Echo. As Lord Portlane said, this may prove our only chance to rescue them. I say we seize it. Victor is very fetching and well put together. Thank you. I am one of four face options. Thank you, everyone. You won't regret this. Let's go save our boys! Uh, honestly, with how Endwalker is looking like the end of the game's story, I wonder what will they do next? Tons of things they can do. We still have Maricidia, the New World Continents. Yeah, there's still plenty on Hydaelyn that we have yet to explore. If uh, we look at the map and, like, compare it to the real world map, we've only really seen Africa and, like, East Asia. We still haven't really seen Europe or Australia or the Americas at all, essentially. Like, if, if we're trying to make similarities between the maps. There's still plenty of Heidelin left. Final preparations are almost complete, my lord. Oh, wait, I need to... There stands, there stands the culmination of five long years of painstaking work, but all our efforts will be vindicated when the Emperor's vision becomes reality. Bitch! At least we have the power to purge this land of its false gods. At last, sorry. We shall give... Wait, no, that's Gaius. We shall give the ignorant children of Eorzea the security and stability they so desperately crave, and which their spineless leaders have so palpably failed to provide. As you say, my lord, rest assured our engineers will not rest until the weapon is fully armed and operational. Am I talking into a mug? No. Why would you think that? How do you pronounce that? Rit, rit, rititin? Rit, ritatin? Rit, rititin? Ritatin? How do you pronounce that, chat? <laughs> wow, Nero said a full sentence without mentioning Sid. Good for him. Oh, yeah. Ritata. <laughs> I pronounced it dead in 10 seconds. Ouch. Retarden? Okay, I'll say Retarden. Retarden! You're de you depart for Castrum Ossidence at midnight. You will command the western front of Vilbrun. The Eorzeans will attempt to interfere with our plans. You will see that they do not. My lord, if this be your will, I shall carry it out to the best of my ability. I live only to serve the Empire. Yeah, forgive my impudence, uh, but is it proper to give a command of half our force to a... I have given you nothing, Pref Prefectus. You have earned it. That will be all. Dismissed. Yes, my lord. Job's done. More work. My quarters. One hour. Oh, they fucking. Tim in hiding, thank you for the bits. Uh, you by no means need to answer, and only if you're comfortable. I saw the. I was curious now how that experience has affected you now, and what you would do differently. I don't think I would do anything differently because I wouldn't know. Um, but if I knew what I knew now, then I guess I would have spoken up about my critique about the game. They're basically asking about the Arcadum thing. Um, I don't want to talk too much on it. But basically, um, the least bad thing Arcadum did was run a bad game of D&D. &D. That is the least of his crimes. Uh, and I, I feel like I don't really have that much of a right to complain. Because, like, bad D&D &D is 
like not at all comparable to emotional and social manipulation and abuse uh, that he did. Anyway, let's continue with the game. But that that's all over now. My purpose here is to uh, reconnoiter? Re reconnoiter? Garlean activity along the uh, Abalathia's spine. Owing to this, I have the honor of being acquainted with Ishtola. Now, the report of the Imperial airship's emergency landing came to us by way of Zem Zemail Darkhold, situated to the west. Our man stationed at the entrance, a knight named Bryselt, oh, may be able to tell you more. So as to expedite your mission, I shall furnish you with a letter of introduction. I pray that you will soon be reunited with your comrades. May the Fury grant you strength. Alright, eyes on the Empire. Reconnoiter? What does that mean? To make military observation of, I see. But yes, thank you for the bits, uh, Tim in hiding. And, uh, yeah, I don't mind that question. I just kind of don't want... I Like, that's over now. It's not that I don't want to talk about it. I just don't care to, you know. Hello. You stand before, uh, Z Zemmail Darkhold, the subterranean fortress excavated by the great Ishtgardian house of the same name. None but authorized personnel may enter. Here's a letter. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. So I guess this is the next dungeon, right? It's a male dark hold. Is that the next one? Sorry, I clicked through that. I shouldn't have clicked through that dialogue. I old habits. Yeah, there it is. It's a male dark hold. Oh, you don't do that in dungeon. Don't you? came from old French. It, it, it must have. It must be, because they, they make all the, the elves and Ishgardians. They, they use French names in vernacular. That one and AV Aram Vale are optional? Are they? Oh, it's side content. Huh. Real airship. I saw it approach the land with mine own two eyes. They had optional dungeons? I don't remember that. Interesting. That's kind of neat. As soon as the landing site arrived, see the vessel take to the skies again, but not before it deployed a detachment of troops. Our fortress were embarked in. Uh, all right. Wow, I don't have to do the dungeon. Interesting. There were prisoners aboard the airship, it seems, and they seized the opportunity to flee when the vessel was forced to land. The Garleans who deployed formed search parties and proceeded to scour the wilderness. In order to alert our forces, I returned to my post to find evidence that someone uh, had been here in my absence. Whoever they were, they tried to, the door to no avail, decided to go elsewhere. In all, I marked two sets of footprints, one large and one small. Biggs and Wedge! That's our boys! Let's go find them. Arm Vale is never optional, it's part of the experience, yes. It's optional, asterisk. Looks like tiny footprints there. Arum Vale is a is a part of experiencing Final Fantasy XIV. We in ARR patches yet? No, we haven't even completed ARR base yet. But I think hopefully, um, when I uh, finish the Aslanti challenge, or what is it? Uh, yeah, last Aslanti. Uh, I'll be doing Final Fantasy XIV two, two days a week. I'll be doing it Fridays and Sundays to try and catch up so I can catch up with the story before Endwalker and complete Shadowbringers. Because I am, I am streaming Endwalker day one. I think I have the early access. And I think by the time I finish this, it will be like a week right before i will be finishing the final patch quests of shadowbringers um like 
the week before Endwalker comes out. It'll be perfect timing. Arm Veil is an excellent training ground for new healers. Uh, training is a good way to say, uh, abusive. <laughs> it is a great stress grounds for healers. Like, I feel Arum Vale would be a great dungeon for later, later levels when you have a little bit more tools. Because I feel like the healers don't have nearly enough tools to deal with a dungeon like that fairly. So c cold. I want to go home. Hey there, Wedge. Well, uh, please don't eat me. I'm not nearly as succulent as I look. It's all skin and bones underneath, I swear. <laughs> Victor, it's you. Thank goodness you're here. It's been, it's been awful. The Garleans were snapping at our heels like a hungry pack of wolves. It was so hell spent on evading. I was so hell spent on evading them. I almost ran headlong into a monster gaping maw. A monster's gaping maw thrice. And when I finally found cover, it hit me how cold and hungry I was. Biggs, he he isn't here. We went off in different direct in a different direction to lure our pursuers away. It's me, Sid. Have you had any success? I found Wedge, but Biggs is uh, nowhere to be found. Track down Wedge. That's wonderful news. Now what of Biggs? Nowhere. I see. Well, it hardly surprises me that the big fellow went off as he did. For all the tongue lashing he gives Wedge, he's always taken care of him. I've scoured the area surrounding the Darkhold, but I have nothing to show for it. At any rate, we know for a fact that Biggs headed west. With both Ida and Yushola helping out, I'm sure he'll turn up soon. Now then, I'll make my way over to your position, while keeping an eye out for Biggs. If memory serves, there should be an Ishgardian fortification not far from your west. Monument Tower, I believe it's called. Let us meet there. Dare I hope? Was that a Master Garland you spoke with? Ooh. Uh, before the timer ticks down, there are 30 seconds left for the statue, for the Pathfinder statue. If you would like an entry, you can get a ticket by doing, uh, exclamation point raffle in the chat. 30 seconds left, and then I will be picking a winner. Uh, viewers have one ticket, subscribers have two. Join the giveaway to get a statue. Get a, a figure of some kind. After five long years, thank goodness he's alive. I'm feeling better now, Victor. Let's go to Monument Tower and wait for the chief to arrive. All right, I'm going to resume entries for a little bit longer. <laughs> for a little bit longer so everyone can get their last little raffle tickets in. Because uh, that was a little short notice and I wasn't paying attention. And then once I reach the end of this quest, after the end of this cutscene, I will be picking a winner. So make sure to get your tickets, uh, tickets in, folks. It'd be, it's a great figure if you like playing tabletop, I assume. Oh, whoops, that's not right. Well met, adventurer. What brings you to this frozen corner of the realm? <laughs> oh, it would seem your companion has caught a chill. Come and warm yourself by the fire. I will bring you both hot broth. How are you feeling now, then? Stay here as long as you need. Oh, she's nice. The same goes for you, friend. Tis plain you have a hard journey ahead of you. You must find rest while you can. All right. Is Victor just a paladin? Oh yeah. All right, time to pick a winner. Okay, so the winner for the raffle is... 
The Hyperfusion, congratulations! You get the statue figure thing, a little skeleton. Congratulations. Uh, I will be messaging you and getting your information. Yeah, congratulations! Here, let me Let's see. Da -da 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 -da. I will whisper the hyperfusion. Hello there. Thank you for watching and thank you for participating in the raffle. So, uh, hello. Just checking in, make, making sure this is the right one. Are you able to hear me? I, uh, I'm able to see you in the chat. <laughs> yep, hello. All right. Uh, if you may, can I get your preferred shipping address? And I will ship internationally. Yeah, he seems very shocked that he won. Congratulations. What is that, Virginia? Okay, awesome. Awesome possum. I will be shipping that sometime this week. And uh, yeah, thank you for participating. She, sorry, yes. I will be shipping that to you, madam, sometime later this week. And it should arrive by the end of it. Congratulations. Uh, so, uh, I'm going to do a few more quests, and then I'm going to be doing a second raffle for the Wild Beyond the Witchlight book that I got. The extra, but not right now. Maybe in a little bit. Okay, where's the next quest? Nevermore Foxy, thank you for the uh, three months. I gotta say, I'm almost at the end of the pre-patch content for Shadowbringers. My poor heart. Ah, uh, yeah. The pre-patch quests before Shadowbringers are gut-wrenching. They are stressful. They are very stressful. Everything more or less back to normal now after the hurricane? Yeah, pretty much. My, uh... My microwave, like... One of the, the digital numbers, you know, the, like, little digi-code thing, keeps flashing, like, an A. Like, every single, like, line is flashing except for the bottom one, so it just looks like it's going, ah, over and over. It's just, ah, 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 ah. It's screaming, yeah, it's in pain. But uh, everything else around my house uh, is fine. I have a sunroom in the back. Um, and that one was a little messy, and it was growing algae. Uh, because it some water leaked in to the floor, but uh, otherwise well, we clean that up pretty easy. Uh, but or rather, my mom did because I was away. My mom cleaned it up when my power came back, uh, thanks to her, because uh, I live pretty close to my parents. She cleaned it up for me, and that's wonderful of her. And uh, yeah, it's all fine now. I had to throw away some food though because it went bad since it was uh, not in a working fridge for a couple of days. Yeah. I'm fine now, thanks to you, but I can't bear to think that Biggs is still all alone in the cold with garlands on his heels. He lured the enemy away from my sake, and now he's suffering for it. I hate to have to rely on you again, Victor, but do you think you could search for Biggs? I have the slightest notion where he might be at the moment, but maybe, just maybe, the people here have seen something. Hello. Rogues and gentlemen dressed in the same manner as your companion. I'm sorry, but it didn't, uh, did not come by here. All right. I'm suggesting only because your friend seems to be a selfless sort rather than drawing. Uh, mayhap he elected to pass us by. Hmm. Let's go outside. <laughs> How dare those garlics go for bigs. Well, we know that uh, Garlemald is uh, protected from any vampires because of their garly and garlic.
Pretty sure garlic and garlic is a thing. Hello. Alright, nothing here. Yeah, garlic and garlic is a crafting material, I'm pretty sure. Crafting ingredient. Sorry, I just couldn't find him. Not in this area. Well, that stands to reason, I suppose, seeing as he was trying to lure the Garleans away from me. But where within the vast area of snow and ice could he be? Oh, I... Here's one critique I have about the game overall. These quest banners spoil the quest. Like, I feel like this just takes tension. Like, maybe Biggs was dead, you know? Maybe the, if they wanted to kill off Biggs, this would have spoiled that that didn't happen, you know? I don't know. That's just me, though. I, I feel like they should use different images for them. That's mostly just ARR? No, not true. Uh, that happened in Shadowbringers as well. Where they spoil things. We can't give up, Victor. We must find Biggs before he succumbs to the cold or is recaptured. There must be someone in this tower who can help us, even if it's only to tell us where else to look. Ask them for me. Ask anyone who will listen, and hurry. Biggs' chances of survival grow, grow slimmer by the moment. Notorious Biggs. That is a nice quest name. Uh, are your hot, hot bars hidden, or you just have all your skills memorized? Yes and no. I have a full hot bar here with all the buttons, you know. However, I hide them and only show my cooldowns. So that way, I only uh, clutter my screen with cooldowns so that I can know when they're off cooldown. Your friend is lost in the wilderness, you say? If he's not to be found around here or in the vicinity of the Darkhold, it is possible he made for Whiterin. To reach it, one must travel through Danifin Pass, the southern end of which lies to the north and east of here. While I make no guarantee that your ser search will bear fruit, it is surely... Yep, yep, yep. And one more thing, do tread warily when climbing the stairs here. Not a moment, a moon ago, I nearly broke my neck when I slipped and took a tumble. Ah, you don't say. I'll be fine. Watch. I can just go on here and... Uh... I'm okay. Ooh, yeah. This is the, um... This is all the... I don't know. This isn't corrupted ether, is it? I don't remember what this is. Yeah, this is weird. Is this Dalamud? No, this is not Dalamud. Dalamud did not fall here. Is it from Dalamud? Oh. Oh, yeah, it is round. So the, this is chunks of Dalamud. Wow, it's just made of ether. Holy crap. Oh yeah, this is one of the things that was was pushing in. Yeah, this is one of the the pillars that was pushing in Dalamud. That was keeping Bahamut. Oh my god, this is pieces of Dalamud. Holy shit. Wow. Yeah, this is the part that changed the environment cuz cuz Corthus used to be like grassy plains and hills. Wow. But I thought, I thought the battle was in Cardano. Is Cardano by Corthus? Huh. Or maybe it's just because exploded chunks fly all over the place. They did go far. Yeah, that's true. The pieces did go far. Hey guys, how's it going? Oh, unable to execute while mounted. Aha, okay, okay. So I can either go there or talk to Ishtola. 
It is pretty big. That is true. That is true. So this is just a small chunk of Dalamud. Because, like, these, uh, these pillar things... These pillar things, there were tons of them. There were tons and... T there were a bunch of them. There were, like, 20 of them, like, pierced all around Dalamud. And this is just one. So... It was above Cartano, and yes, it is. Also, Dalaman was aiming down upon Cartano, too, as its landing point. Uh. Yeah, I mean, it exploded, so it definitely flew off. Uh, yep. Yeah. Oh, that's shit. That's not right. Oh, Beaks is a monk. I didn't realize that. Our orders are to take you back, dead or alive. Which will it be, Engineer? Why don't you come and find out, Tinhead? Ah, Victor. It is well that you are here. The situation is grave. Biggs is in a bad way. We need to go do something right now. Ida has the right of it. We will perish if we... He will perish if we delay. With me. Oh, nice! We got a tank, a healer, and two DPS. Perfect. Wow, everybody's a monk. He's not alone. Kill them all. Hiya! Oh, yeah, they ain't not. I wonder why Delamit falling change the ether here in favor of ice. Yeah, I wonder too. They probably came up with like a silly arbitrary explanation, but I'm the real reason is probably because they wanted an ice area earlier on. But uh yeah, lore wise, I wonder what the lore explanation they would come up with for that. By the way, let me know how the audio sounds if it's too loud. Cuz it's a little on the louder end, but I don't know if that's okay for you guys. Sounds fine. Yeah. It probably threw the etheric flow here. Yeah, but why ice? Is it just random? I assume it's just random. There probably isn't any reason. Like, it threw the etheric flow. Why ice? Uh. Aquarius. Ah, my favorite Zodiac. Considering how Bahamut was basically the personification of End of the World, and Dalamud was hella powerful, uh, it inverted the ether somehow. Well, yes, yes, but the question... <laughs> no, 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 we get that, Chad. We we, uh, we agree on that. My, my question is, why ice? Why did it make things icy, you know? Specifically, shit. I just need to remove... I'm just gonna remove this... Um, they keep pressing it by accident. Remove. Ye no, I need that. Never mind. That's needed. I just need to make sure to not click it anymore. Wasn't the calamity unaspected? Yeah. My, my thanks. Another moment and I would have. Oh. Isola, Kaskira. He has been too long in the cold. We must find shelter for him. Monument Tower, you say? Very well, Yida and I will bear him there with all haste. Sid will be so happy to see Biggs and Wedge again. Oh, I love reunions. The know-how for a setup like that. It's not that complicated. It's just a lot of, like... It's a lot of, um... Sources in the scene... But it's just mostly image files, honestly. Let's see, move that up there. There we go. 
I still have to look up a lot more lore stuff, I guess. Yeah. Me too. Now, there is a fantastic lore video by Jesse Cox, because he, he used to do WoW lore a lot, and he actually used to be a history teacher, fun fact. Um, so he did a fantastic lore video that has no spoilers. Don't worry, there's no spoilers in it, but it's a great starting point for uh, getting to know the world before ARR. I cannot thank you enough, Victor. And the same goes for the rest of you. Thank you all so much. Oh, don't mention it. We are a family, are we not? Well, well, yes, it's just, it's just, I don't think, I don't think I'll ever see him again. I owe the lot of you my life. And you saved wedge too, wedges too, Victor. I'm losing count of how many I, of how many I owe you. <gasps> Is it the boss? <gasps> it's boss! Big swedge gods, it's good to see the two of you again. Chief, it's you! It's really you! In our hearts, we knew you were still alive, but to finally see you in the flesh. <laughs> When Alphano told me of the raid on the Waking Sands, I fear the worst. What happened? The enemy struck with nary a warning. We didn't even stand a chance. Wedge and I were in the workshop when they came. Before we knew what was happening, the Imperials had us in gunpoint. I'm... it must have been awful. There's one thing I don't understand, though. How did the Garleans get there so fast? I mean, the Immortal Flames should have seen them coming, right? I myself have asked the same question. That day, when I returned to the carnage at the Waking Sands, I noted Nautimus up in Horizon. Nothing at all to suggest the passing of an Imperial force. From this, I concluded that the Garleans came neither by land nor by air. Nay, nay, they were born there by potent teleportation magics. Magics of the kind used by Asians. Carry on. Ah, the fucking bread. Laha bread. We were bound and blindfolded and bundled in the, to a cargo bay waiting, uh, of a waiting airship. I can't rightly say how long we were aboard, but when the time came for us to disembark, we found ourselves in the midst of an Imperial stronghold, Castrum Sentry. Upon arrival, we, marched, we were marched off into a com the main complex. Biggs and I were thrown into a detainment cell together, while Minfili and the others were taken elsewhere. That was the last we s heard from them. Castrum Sentry. Mm. What happened next? Well, we were headed in an isolation for what felt like years, or was probably moons, or maybe only weeks. And then, without warning, the Imperials collected the pair of us and put us on another vessel, which we found out was bound for Gollumold, much to our dread. We knew that if we were taken back there, we weren't like to leave again. So, risky though it was, we sabotaged the ship's altitude control and thereby forced an emergency landing. And in the midst of an ensuing chaos, we managed to slip our captors. The rest, as they say, is history. Well, I definitely was gone for weeks. Lore video uploaded a few days ago? Yes, it is. That's the one. Ha! <laughs> If I didn't know better, I'd call that a likely story. Sabotaging the altitude controls of an airborne vessel. That will have been Biggs' handiwork, like as not. You always were resourceful in, tight sp in a tight spot, my friend. Victor, thank you for returning my dearest assistance to me. I would, it would seem I owe you yet another debt of gratitude. There are still many questions in my mind, but the answer can wait. Minfilia and the others still wait, want for rescue. All right, you lot. Garland Ironworks is back in business. Let's go and give the Imperials what for. Hurrah! All right. 
And so, the Magitech engineers are back in business. Hello. Thanks to you, Biggs and Wedge are with us again. Now, we must find a way to rescue Minfilia and the others. Gods know we've kept them waiting too long already. Yeah, well, how's it been? Three weeks? Based on what we've learned, I believe it's safe to say they're being held at Castrum Sentry. So let us convene at Revenant's Toll in Mordona. It is a good place as any to prepare, and better than most. The road leading east then south should, uh, will get you there. When we arrive, let us seek the advice of local adventurers. We are bound to learn a thing or two that will benefit our mission. I knew the chief was still alive. Deep down, I always knew. And he looked healthy, too. Well, he could do with a shave, I suppose, but other than that... Oh, what are you talking about? Look at this beautiful beard! Look at this glorious man beard. That is well, well grown. You hold your tongue, Biggs. Thank goodness you found me, Victor. I would have frozen or drowned or been eaten by a mud puppy if it wasn't for you. Yeah, of course. Okay. To Mordona. Ah, yes. The Revenant's Toll. I kind of wish they uh, they made Mordona like pseudo instance where it would like not be as built depending on where you are in the MSQ because that's how it used to be. Uh, according to Larry Zauer, Larry uh, who played the game for a long time, apparently Mordona would slowly get more and more stuff as things went on and be more and more built up. Yeah, their gear is pretty neat. I like the Ironworks gear. There are more SIDs. Oh yeah, there's a SID in like almost every Final Fantasy game. It's one of the reoccurring things like Chocobos and Crystals um, and Dragoons. Wasn't that Idleshire? No, he said, uh, he said Mordona as well, I think. I think? I don't know. I, Idleshire was definitely like that, but I think Mordona too. Maybe. Yeah, it happened with both, yeah. It progressed, basically. It got more and more buildings and stuff and upgraded as time went on. It'd be pretty neat if they were able to do that with, like, story progress. But I can understand why they don't. Perhaps they're not able to. Well met, friend. Oh, Slathborn. I think he joins the Scions. I don't remember. What brings you to the Remnant's Toll? We are looking for Castrum Sentry. Did I hear you rightly? Your friends are being held, held captive at Castrum Sentry, and you want to rescue them? I don't mean to discourage you, but that might prove difficult. The Stronghold has been on high alert of late, with armored patrols seen about the perimeter around the clock. Not even a fly could get in within a hundred yards of the walls undetected. If the Garleans were alerted to our coming, we cannot know what they will do to Minfilia and the others. We must act with the greatest self. Aye, it is as good old-fashioned infiltration. But with security so tight, how are we supposed to smuggle ourselves in? Why, I've a mind to walk through the front door. Huh? The front door? Aye, we'll disguise ourselves as Imperial troops and march right in. For this, we'll need a few sets of Imperial uniforms, a suit of Magitek armor, and impeccable timing. <laughs> That's a bold strategy, but it just might work. Where we are, there's certainly no shortage of opportunities to borrow the equipment. Knowing those Imperial bastards, they won't even suspect that we savage Eorzeans would think to use their technology. Then it's settled. If you're determined to go ahead with this, I'd recommend you speak with Glamund. The fellow's got a personal grudge against the Empire, and happens to know a deal about Castrum Sentry besides. I've no doubt that he'd want to be of aid. Ida and I will go to... Recon. Uh, Garlean activity at the Stronghold. It would not do if something were to befall our comrades before we had the chance to act. Come and join us when you're ready, Victor. Let's do this. 
Sometimes I wonder, Ida, are there ever times where you are not enthused? Uh, probably when she's taking back her homeland. I'm nothing if not enthused in Yishtola, and you're beginning to remind me of Papalimo. <laughs> oh, shit. There we go. Getting back into the into the swing of things with my uh, OBS. Long A. Oh yeah, comrades. That's right. Not comrades. Comrades. Is this a no-spoiler stream? Yes. This is a no-spoiler stream. Looking for Glamon, are you? Well, you found him, whoever you are. Uh, you're looking to get inside Custom Sentry, and you need my help? Uh, something tells me we're going to get along just fine. Oh yeah, this is this is where you get the uniform. I remember that. So you have friends at Castum Sentry, that one for rescue. That Slafborn knows me too well. Ah, uh, you can count on my help. I've got a score to settle with the Imperials, and I never pass on an opportunity to get back the horses. But enough about me. Let's talk strategy. Rescue and Fulcrum Cafe to be my they look business. You need to confirm you are friends where they are. You don't want to risk. Uh, approach sentry from the east hill the left called tangle get in there okay all right we need to scout scout time glad you are back up and running after the hurricane and made it out safely yeah me too i'm glad my house is fine and all my stuff is fine it's always nice For some reason, I feel like Glamid would speak like a pirate. Probably. Yeah, I'm Glamid. Glow, Glowment. And I hate the Empire. Yeah. Oh man, look at this. Like industrial pipeworks and stuff. Ooh, there it is. Here's the castrum. They've got like a train thing. <laughs> One does not simply walk into Castrum Sentry. I'm here. I wonder if they'll notice me. Hey, how's it going? How's it going, dude? You doing all right? Just going on your patrols? Yeah, yeah. You're doing doing a good job. Keep doing your good job there. There they are. Ah, pipe. And kill these guys. Boop. There we go. We're gonna be going through the sewers. Hell yeah. The faint sound of conversation echoes down the pipe. What are the captives? Wait, hold on. What are the captives? Does she still refuse to, refuse to speak? You may be... She may as well be a deaf mute for all the information we've gotten out of her. The others aren't much better. The Ellison gets on my nerves most of all. Every time he opens his mouth, it's only to spout gibberish. I do wonder why is the Tribune so obsessed with this Minfilia woman? They say she possesses some mystical power, something we Garleans don't have. Mystical power? Like the kind the Beastmen use? How am I supposed to bloody know? If you're so curious, why don't you ask the Tribunus yourself? As well try to tumble her. I like my head where it is, thank you very much. Our break is over, as we get back to our stations. Footfall grows fainter until all is silent. Well, that confirms it. How convenient that they would mention their names. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to do, like, voice mod stuff that can have even more special effects because that's built into my compressor, like my physical compressor. Um, but voice mod for some reason distorts my voice and makes it all robot-y, even when I'm not using any voice changer. Like a bad robot, like you know the, the, the disconnecting robot that you get on Discord? 
That's what I get. Oh, hey, Alpha Nose is uh, Alpha Nose here. Is tumble exactly what I think it is? Uh, I think they mean getting their head chopped off. Tis good to see you again, Victor. I am given to understand that you have conducted some reconnaissance. Tell me, what were you able to learn? So Minfilia and the others are indeed at Castrum Sentry. Their presence thus confirmed, we may proceed with the mission. While you were afield, Sid took the liberty of devising a plan of action. Pray, have the details for him. Good work, Victor. As Alphano has already told you, we've plotted out a course for the rescue. The gist of it is unchanged. We disguise ourselves as Imperial soldiers and infiltrate the stronghold. Glaumund is looking into ways to procure a suit of Magitek armor. In the meantime, I need your assistance for some prepar preparation of, mo of my own. Minfilia and the others are counting on us, Victor. Let us not keep them waiting any longer than necessary. Okie dokie. Let's get those uniforms. While Glaumont goes beyond devising his plan, we need to see to some preparations of our own. It wouldn't do if the Imperials were to discover that they are short in armor. To prevent this from happening, I'm going to put together a makeshift communications jamming device. The explanation is like to get a bit of technical, so bear with me. Imperial forces communicate at a distance via electromagnetic waves. Simply put, voices are born upon etheric lightning energy that permeates the air. So, like a radio. Now, the hill-sized cluster of corrupted crystals to the west have been observed to amplify the self-same energy. So, like a radio tower. <laughs> By making use of this property, we should be able to drown out Imperial voices. So, like a radio jammer. Counter UAV online! To ensure that we have enough amplification, we must identify the most potent crystals amongst the cluster. For this, I need you to go there and use this device to take readings. I mark the likely places on your map. Oh, and just so you know, plasmoids are drawn to lightning energy. Don't be surprised if you run into a few. Okie dokie. Yeah, base ARR uh, Alpha Nose, voiced by Sam Regal. Uh, during Heaven's Word, they swapped uh, voice studios uh, and were based out of the UK. So they got actual British voice actors. All right, do I use this? Whoop. Whoop. And there are our plasmoid. See what else am I? Is there anything else? No. Okay. Hold on. Just need to get a message. Uh. Da -da 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 -da. Okay. All right. Oh, there we are. Whoop. Uh, all right, no plasmoid. They swapped to the Xenoblade voice studio pretty much. Yeah, yeah, Xenoblade has got some good British voice acting as well. Oh, is Tataru voiced by Fiora? That's pretty cool. Oh yeah, speaking of voiceovers, um, recently, in the past couple of days, uh, the voice actor for Count Edmund Fortomp, uh, passed away. Yeah. Uh, what's his name? It was voiced by Stephen Critchlow. Yeah. Yeah, he passed on the 19th. Age 54. That's so young. 
Oh, he was in Torchwood. And he was in Doctor Who. Wow. He was in radio episodes, so he, he did voices stuff all the time. Man. He will be missed. He's a very significant character in Heaven's Word, and I can't wait to reach that so you guys can hear his voice. It's fantastic. What a legend. Go. Yeah, I don't think anybody confirmed how he passed. All right. Okay, I guess I put down uh, the last one. Okay, time to return back to Sid. UAV online. Hey, Sid. You have the readings. Excellent. Here, let me see the numbers. Yes, four of these crystals should suit our purpose, though I pray we won't have need of their power. My thanks, Victor. Go. Count also has a very interesting line in the seven uh, Dark Knight quest. I gotta do the rest of those. I did up to the level 50 ones, but I haven't done the further ones. I need to do that sometime. This is part of the Imperial Troops. Okay. Clean wax out of your ears now, because there is something I want you to do by way of preparation. The plan to have you enter Castrum Sentry all decked out in an Imperial duds, but a disguise is more than just clothes you're wearing. You also gotta act the part. At the very least, you need to know how to perform a convincing Imperial salute. First impressions are everything, as they say. I could teach you the salute myself, of course, but it's best you learn it from the experts. So get yourself near as you dare to Castrum Sentry and watch the Imperials doing what they do. All right, here we go. To the Castrum. So I, th I think this is a little bit of padding. Like he says he could have taught us, but he didn't. Understandable, it's an MMO. You need to pad it a little somewhat. Also, the novelty of roleplay, I guess. The fundraiser Steven started for the NHS hit 200% funding goal. Yeah, I donated that one too. Yeah, he started, he had a, uh, he had like, he started a little charity funding thing. And after people found out, uh, yeah, everyone started donating. You know, people can be really cool sometimes. Yep, there it is. Nothing to report, sir. We have received an anonymous warning that insurgent forces are near. We must redouble our vigilance. I shall recommend that patrols be increased. An anonymous- you're just gonna tr trust an anonymous source? <laughs> Alright. How do I feel about Endwalker Paladin so far? I am happy with it. Uh, because like, my thoughts on Paladin is Paladin is pretty perfect now. There are only just a few minor things that I think can be changed and even less that can be added. The Confidior combo makes perfect sense. It's like a final mixture of like a, a final combo finisher, essentially, after Confidior. Um, however, the more nitty gritty of what I would like is more things to use, things that basically they couldn't show uh, that you can't really show visually in a job action trailer is more things to use my paladin gauge for. Uh, a rework of shield bash because it is so incredibly niche that you're better off just using inter using interject or low blow. And um, a rework of divine veil. Like those, that's it. That's the, Those are the only thing. Oh, and um, Clemency. I would change Clemency to an off global cooldown with like a short cooldown of like keep the recast time but make it an off global cooldown. That's what I would do. 
Uh, an instant off global cooldown. Yeah, that's what I would do. But that's it. Everything else about Paladin is like pretty tight. Uh, so, did you manage to learn the Imperial Salute? No, 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 you don't, uh, you best you don't demonstrate. I'm liable to fly into a rage and crack skulls. I'll just take your word for it. All right, Imperial Salute. Hello? Sl Sark Malark. Okay, before I talk to this guy, I'm gonna go grab snacks. I'm feeling a little bit, uh, of the munchies. I will be... Right. I'm also going to refill my water. Wait, my water. Hello, I return. I got some mixed nuts. called Victor Quibbles, yes? I've heard of your plight from my friend Glauman. As a fellow adventurer and son of Eorzea both, I would offer my assistance. In order to infiltrate Castrum Sentry, you and your comrades must disguise yourselves as a Yep, I know that. Uh, 
places a man might purchase them, but individuals who deal in such wares are not the sort of whom you would entrust your secrets. It would be more prudent, I believe, to procure what you need via traditional means from the bodies of recently deceased owners. So let's go kill them! Uh, one for each member of the infiltration team. Biggs, wedge in yourself. When you have what you need, please return here and allow me to inspect the spoils. Obtain uniforms from Imperial soldiers. I'm back with the snack. Oh, look, the snack is chat. Oh. Hmm. What is the snack? Mixed nuts. So we're straight up killing these guys. Cause we can't we can't leave evidence. <laughs> we're straight up killing these people. I mean all's fair in love and war, I guess. This story is trying to have shades of grey. one over there. I mean, it's not a war crime at all. Is it? Does it is this a war crime? I mean, no, it's it's spy, right? It's that's all. That's fair. Espionage is espionage a war crime. That is a that is a real question. Subterfuge. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Yeah, I think subterfuge is fair in the uh in the rules of war. Right? They were civilians or off duty. Yeah, there you go. A very little war crime. I don't know. Yeah, it, it seems blurry. <laughs> I don't know uh, if they were off duty. I see. No, yeah, they were on patrol. So it's all fair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Off duty, no civilians. Yes, yeah. Oh. Uh, damage, as I suspected. In their present condition, I fear these uniforms and helms are like to draw suspicion. They must be repaired, if only superficially. Fortunately, the blacksmith, uh, Iganolf, at the Diamond Forge in Renoa's House of Splendors, should be able to hammer them into shape in no time. Oh, Renoa, oh no. <clears throat> I've already sent word ahead and have been assured that he's expecting you. Worry not, we have already impressed upon him the need for utmost uh, secrecy as by the nature of your mission. Rowena. Oh gosh, Rowena. Please, no more. go. Hmm? So you're the Venture Sark Malark sent, are you? I've been waiting for you. Now let's see what you got for me. <laughs> this game can have a little war crime as a treat. Yeah, there are war crimes in this game. Uh, pretty sure how the Lemenses, how the Lemenzans originally colonized that area uh, of uh, Lenosha was war crimes. Ah, I see. Ah, yes. I reckon I can hammer these back into shape for you. After all, I owe your friend Sarkmalark a favor or two. Took good care of old uh, e Eganolf back in the days before I fell with old Rowena. I, he did. Did you know he's son of uh, one of the wealthiest families in the Sultanate? Of course he is. Of course, he's a Lalafell. Why wouldn't he be? Wouldn't expect someone like that to end up in the life that he did. But I suppose he's always felt the Venture's life calling him. 
But here I go blabbering on when there's work to be done. Just hold your horse spurs for a moment or two and get the, the great uh, Eganolf will have your gear looking good as new. Yeah, Limza is just built on war crimes. Yep. Absolutely. And there we have it. Won't do you much good in battle, mind you. But for what I hear, that's not your priority anyhow. Do you send, uh, do send Sarkmalark me regards, will you? Just a little chemical warfare. That's fine. Just a little bit of colonization. Here you go. Have you the uniforms and helms prepared? Yep, yep. Yes, these will serve beautifully. The great Eganolf never fails to impress. The quality of these repairs would fool even a legatus. Thus equipped, you should have should not have any trouble bending in, uh, blending in amongst the imperial forces. Lest you fear that the Garleans might detect your foreignness. Foreigners, in fact, form the greater part of the Garlean invasion force of in Eorzea. You see, when the Empire uh, subjugates new uh, subjugates new territory, it assimilates the people of that land into its armed forces. Makes sense. In turn, these uh, conscripted forces are sent to subjugate faraway lands. In this way, Garlemald nips rebellions in the bud and expands its territory in one fell stroke. With that, my part in your mission is done. I am full glad to have been of assistance to your cause. Hmm? Why would I, a wealthy merchant, wish to help you? I know not where you heard such a tale, but believe me when I say that I am but another humble adventurer, one who desires only to act in the best interests of the realm. Aw. Altruistic man of the Sultanate. Wait a minute! Is that Pippin? Nobody knows who Pippin is, but, um... So you got those who don't know the story won't know who I, who I mean. I don't think so. He's shot from Xenoblade. No, no, Pippin is darker skin. No, no. Pippin is dark skin. My bad. There's only four or eight faces, yeah. Sorry, that was, uh, yeah, Pippin is tan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. That's not a spoiler, by the way, because I didn't say who Pippin was. Good work getting them Imperial duds. You'll be pleased to hear I ain't been idle myself. It took me long enough, but I finally hatched a plan to get us a suit of Magitek armor. Now, from what I've seen, Castrum Sentry deploys a Reaper for most of its patrols. Trouble is, the patrol themselves are irregular, meaning random routes and de random deployments, and hardly any of them come anywhere near Revenant's Toll. So, hoping to coax the Imperials out of their shells, I took the liberty of feeding them a bit of the old false intelligence. Oh, <gasps> he's the anonymous source! Wow! He told them insurgents had deigned their on, the, on their stronghold. Taint far from the truth, now that I come to think of it. Any road, we should start seeing more patrols than we have up until now. What you need to do is approach one of these patrols, dressed up in your shiny tin suit, and alert them to the enemy's presence. Haven't done that, you'll want to lure them as near to Revenant's Toll as you can. Like as not, though, they'll be wary of venturing far from their own walls. If they do need a bit of extra encouragement, use a smoke signal here. Filch filched fresh from an Imperial scout. They'll come running when they see them. And when the cavalry arrives, you'll hit them hard and make off with their reaper. Simple as that. If I ain't mistaken, there's a patrol sweep in the perimeter right now. So run along, eh? Oh, and don't forget to salute. Okie dokie. Greet the Imperial Centurion with an Imperial salute. Do I need to wear my gear? Let's see. Uh... Seek out the Imperial Patrol outside and alert them to the Prince. I'm going to greet your superiors with an Imperial Salute. 
All right, let's put on our uniform, shall we? Uh, I don't have it. Never mind. <coughs> oh. Hello. Ah, salute. That's not the right one. Give me strength. If that's your idea of a salute, you can wave goodbye to that promotion right now. Sorry, just Imperial Salute. There we are. One of our covert operatives, are you? Carry on, soldier. Hmm. Insurgents gathering to the east, you say? Judging by your description, they are well beyond the perimeter. But I will not have it said that I was remiss. You, return to the scene and keep an eye on those insurgents. Should aught go awry, use your smoke signal to call us. All right, he thinks I'm a spy. You think I'm a spy? You silly goober, <laughs> you, you, you dope. Silly dope. Yeah, I'm a double agent. Are there Imperials without the third eye? I don't think, I don't know if the third eye would help, would it? Does the third eye do anything? I don't know if that's story spoilers. I don't think it is. That's just lore. Right? As far as we can tell, no. Yeah, I didn't think so. Uh, only the mark of a pure blood Garlean? I don't know. He, he was wearing a uniform, so he could be a pure blood Garlean for all we know. I mean, how many pure blood Garleans are there, right? Yeah, there are plenty of Gar Imperial citizens that aren't pure blood, yeah. A few, but lots of conscript, yeah. I hope you don't mind my joining, seeing as we're seizing advanced re weaponry. I thought it best to be on hand. I like your oven mitt. Ah, there she is. This is the place, but where is the enemy? Sir, over there! Send in the Reaper. Let us make an example of these insurgents. Here we go. All right, Sid, time to use your gunbreaker knife. <laughs> He's got like a little gun gun knife. Son that. There we go. Easy peasy. Yeah, look at him. He's got like a... It's holstered now, but he's got like a gun... Like a rifle knife. A knifeful. <laughs> At last, our very own suit of Magitek armor. Hmm. Not wishing to look a gift chocobo in the beak. It does seem rather the worse for wear, doesn't it? I did kick the snot out of it. Sorry about that. Biggs, Wedge, what is your honest assessment? Well, there's the fact that she's smoking, of course. But looking past that, I'd say she was structurally sound. Hmm. I don't like the way these legs are buckled. I hate to say this, but the se servo mechanism may be damaged. Huh? But aren't those things protected by ilm thick armor plate? They are, yes, it's odd. Uh, the casing doesn't seem to have taken a blow. I suspect we're dealing with a faulty part. Well, whatever it is we're dealing with, we're, we're not resting until... Wait, he didn't have that voice, did he? I didn't make him piratey. I accidentally made him more piratey. We're not resting till it's fixed. 
Not one wink of sleep. You got that, Wedge? Oh. <laughs> God, Chocobo. I heard that. A hall will, uh, a hall has been set aside for our use in Revenant's toll. That's where we'll carry our, out the repairs. Look for us there, Victor. Okie dokie. I think he is Irish, right? Oh, whoa! Nice. Oh, look at that limp. They're both Irish? Maybe. I haven't heard their Heavensward voice acting in a while. I do know that that's the tone of voice they had. Like, Biggs is a little nasally. And high-pitched. It's ironic. The Magitek armor, Sid and the others took it inside. Go on in and join them. Hey, Dipper! Dipper Dog, everybody. Good friend, player of the Mercs of Mischief, and uh, wonderful streamer. I still don't have that Magitek suit yet. You're getting close. Wait, don't you? You beat ba base ARR, didn't you? Let's see. You should have one. Yeah, you should. If you beat base IRR, you should have one. Yeah, you probably probably didn't use the key. You need to activate the key. And if you accidentally got rid of it, you can always pick it up again from the Calamity Salvager. You can uh, get, like, uh, MSQ quest rewards. We've now had time to take a closer look at the Reaper. Our preliminary diagnosis was correct. She's structurally sound, but her servo mechanism is faulty. You needn't worry though, Biggs and Wedge will see her restored to her former glory in no time at all. Give those two something to mend, and they will think of naught else till the job's done. Tis a marvelous thing to behold, provided you rem remind them to visit the privy. All right, let's fix the magic tech. The repairs are proceeding apace. It shouldn't be long now before Biggs and Wedge complete their work. There is, however, one small problem. As you may recall, the Machina's servo mechanism was discovered to be faulty. Wedge has subsequently as ascertained that the Magitek core which drives it is worn beyond use. Such cores are rather fragile devices which must be replaced at regular intervals. Thanks to the negligence of our Imperial colleagues, however, the one used in this Reaper was long overdue. Alas, we did not have access to a ready replacement here in Mordona, but all is not lost. Wedge thinks he may have identified an alternate solution. Go and see him, would you? He'll explain the details to you. Wedge! Wedgey, wedgey, wedgey. Uh, now I'm going on Final Fantasy to retrieve it. Thank you, everyone. Uh, no worries. Uh, as I believe the Chief has already informed you, the Magitek core has won beyond use. We need to find a replacement. I thought about having you appropriate uh, more re Reapers, but even if the uh, Dunder Head maintenance engineers of Castrum Centric had remembered to replace their cores, we would risk arousing Imperial suspicion. But do not despair, for I believe there is a solution to substitute the Magitek core with a Mammoth Heart. Uh, excuse me? In case you don't know, a Mammoth Heart can be used to grant sentience to an automaton. By my reckoning, such a device should be more than capable of regulating the armor servo mechanism. We'll just need to make some minor modifications to the housing unit. So we're gonna give this thing sentience? Okay. I've already placed an order for the first-rate Mammoth Heart with the Goldsmith's Guild. 
All that remains is for someone to go to Uldar and collect it. Oh, and pay for it. Um, did I mention how much they cost? No? Well, they typically cost something, you know, um, I hope you don't mind footing the bill. It is for a good cause. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot about this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, for those who don't know, mammoth, mammoths are essentially AI mechs in this game. And they're the basis of how not all of them are sentient, but they can be given sentience, essentially, to think and work on their own. Usually, they're not quite fully sentient, but, uh, yeah. Does the Ironworks have no budget? Well, not of recently. <laughs> they haven't started up Ironworks quite yet. Um, they're just kind of Biggs, Wedge, and Sid for now. They're kind of all over the place. They're also our wind-up minions. Yeah, they're the basis of uh, our wind-up minions. If mammoths are mechs who created them, goldsmiths. Yeah, they're these little things. Welcome to the goldsmith guild. Yeah, they look like this. This is this is how they look like, like plain, when they're not. Well, aside from the hat, these are how they look like plain. However, they can be decorated and like crafted to look like other things. For example, um, doo -doo -doo -doo. our little minions, like this wind-up Alphino. That's that's a mammoth. Uh, boop. See, that thing is a mammoth. And it was just dressed up to look like Alphino. Yeah. So your minions actually do have lore, too. So there's lore for the minions. Oh, he's still cute. Hello. Also, serendipity, hello. Hello there. Come to collect a mammoth harp, have you say? Then you must be on here on behalf of Garland Ironworks. I've taken the liberty of picking the finest example we have. A heart fit for a prince among mammoths. Payment? Oh, that won't be necessary. The heart is for Master Alphino's personal use, after all. He notified us a short while ago that his manservant would come collecting it. Wow. Uh... <sighs> Alphano, my boy, you've... Oh, jeez. You've got a long way to go. Tender in years, though he may be, Master Alphano has been a benefactor of ours since my predecessor's time. The Goldsmith's Guild wouldn't dream of charging him. But here's the mammoth's heart. May it serve you well. Oh, and please do pass on my compliments to your master. Yeah. I think goldsmithing... Uh, you can also make quite a few minions as well. Like if I look up wind up, wind up, whoops, that's not it. Is it wind dash up hyphen? Yeah, there we go. Uh, oh no, it's cloth craft. What? Okay, well, I guess these are like plushies. I guess that makes sense. Still, though, the wind-up... Huh. Why must you lie to me? <laughs> Goldsmith has other types of minions? Let's see. What does Goldsmith have? What do they have? Mostly weavers? Weird. You would think the goldsmith would be in charge of the mechs. Is it like 70s? Is it in master recipes? That would make sense. No, they, they make miniatures. Yeah, there we go. Wait, no, that's barding. Um, weird. That's really weird, huh? All 
Oh, there we go. Minions, 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 minions. No, no, no minions. Uh. Okay. About. Huh. Weavers make a lot of the outside. That is true. Mammoths are the skeleton. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. You're right, chat. You're right. Why can't chefs make food so delicious it comes to life? Because I don't think the, the deliciousness of food is, is a mark of whether something is sentient or not. Wanna go in? Yep. Here you go, here's a mammoth heart. Every little thing she does is mm. Oh. Uh, the clockwork soul of a mammoth. <laughs> we replace this Magitech core with a children's toy. Hurrah, thank you so much. <gasps> but this is, is magnificent. It must have cost an emperor's ransom. Oh, we've got friends in high places. Free of charge, courtesy of Alphino. Coming from an influential family certainly has an advantages. But without further further ado, let's give it a try. I've already modified the housing unit, so it should slot right in. There, she's ready. Magitek armor, engage! Oh, God. Or not. <laughs> she just needs a loving tap, I'd wager. Oh, God. Ooh. Okay. Yes, she's... She's alive! Let's take her outside and put her through her paces. Victor, would you care to do the honors? You got it. Massive, destructive killing machine with the heart of a toy? What could go wrong? This is the Ironworks' first major project since my return. I mean to see that it's a success. I've overseen a hundred such tests, but they still play hells with my nerves. And that's without the, chef's, uh, the chief watching. Hop into the pilot seat. I'll begin as soon as you're ready. First, I'd like you to try climbing that tangled crystal yonder as far up as you can go, if you please. Oh, and if for some reason you need to dismount, simply come back here and we'll start again. Here we go. Ah, here we are. Yes. Do, 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 do. Huh. And I can... No, I can't fly here. Guess this is instanced. Or just like... No, it's not instance. They just disabled my flying. Oh, wait. Hold on. Uh... Yeah. Let's see. Where do I go? There it is. Huh. Huh. Nice. No anomalous movement evidence from either leg. Good. Next, jump back down and then sprint north quickly as you can. Huh? Leg joints absorbed all impact without incident. Excellent. Please make your way back, Victor. Nice. It's not a JRPG unless there is an inappropriately late game tutorial, yeah. Well, it's, it's for the roleplay, right? Because we're roleplaying testing out this robot. We're just playing along, you know. Maybe that's not some people's speed. 
The torso remains stable during vigorous motion. Excellent. And that concludes our test. Thank you for your cooperation. Okie dokie. Here's a summary of my findings. The drivetrain is in sound condition. With some fine tuning, we can expect a noticeable improvement in performance. As for the servo mechanism, I'm afraid it's not nearly as responsive as it should be, and I'm at a loss to explain why. The Mammoth Heart is in pristine condition and should be installed correctly. Perhaps its inner workings are simply too different to operate uh, harmoniously with all the armor's other mechanisms. Whereas Magitek cores only serve to conduct impulses, Mammoth Hearts enable Automata to process the information collected by the sensors as feel <gasps> feelings. Maybe she just doesn't feel like part of the team. In which case, we should all do our best to make her feel welcome. <laughs> oh, this is adorable. Hello. Okay. Damn, level 50 sync already. Daft as it felt, I gave it my best. I welcomed myself into a bloody standstill. What were you expecting it to do anyway? Bob us a curtsy. <laughs> I would love to see this Magitek armor in like a skirt and do curtsy. No doubt you're wondering why the servo mechanism is so important as to warrant this silliness. Without it, the pilot would be required to control the armor's every movement manually. This would be an onerous task at the best of times and wholly impractical during battle. Using a mammoth heart in place of the worn Magitek core seemed a promising solution. Alas, the device does not appear to be compatible with the Garlean technology. Wedge, are there no other ways we may demonstrate our appreciation to our friend here? <laughs> are there no other ways that we can uh, give compliments to the robot? There, there, Rocky. You can go whenever you feel like it. <laughs> Sorry, I'm eating mixed nuts right now. Ah, oh, bee's knees. That'll be good. Is that how mammoths work? Apparently, they're semi-sentient. So, yes? I'm at my wit's end, Chief. She just doesn't seem convinced. We could try a little dance. Perhaps or cheer our heads off. <laughs> Imperials, they've come for the armor. Damn it, they have us cornered. There's the Reaper. The Mammoth in Goldsmith Quest is pretty much fully sentient? Yeah. Taken by the traitor Garland. And is that the Icon Slayer? Oh, bollocks. Call for reinforcements. Hmm. The hell's you will. Counter UAV online. UAV online. <laughs> We've located the stolen Reaper, requesting immediate assistance. Respond, respond. It's no use, sir. There's some sort of interference. Curse you, Garland. No matter. If we can't reclaim it, destroy it. Oh god. Oh jeez. Bloody hells. Victor, protect the armor at all costs. You got it, boss. Slice. Slice, slice. No, 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 come back. Oh, don't hurt her. 
Get back here. Not gonna lay a finger on her. It's my robot. I should probably turn on tank stance. That would be good. There we go. <laughs> Save Mecha Chan. Oh, it's got a little face. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> hello. A little eyebrow raise. Chief, look, she moved. Oh, Chief, look, she moved. Uh, now she deigns to grace us with her presence. It took us a good while, but we're finally ready. <gasps> because we protected her from being destroyed. It's time to infiltrate Castrum Sentry and rescue our comrades. Hell yeah. And... There, the finishing touch. Give her a sick tattoo. The Ironworks logo. Oh, this is kind of sweet. <laughs> she attack, she protect, but most importantly, she Magitek. <laughs> Give it a little pet. Pet the Magitek armor. Yeah, the top part does kind of look like a face, doesn't it? A little bit. You know what I really like is this design was the design for the original um, concept art for the Magitek armor in Final Fantasy IV, I think it was. Which went unused. The, the in-game sprites use a different design, but this is designed after the, uh, sorry, uh, Final Fantasy VI. VI, yeah, VI, VI, VI. Uh, this is the concept art design for the armor, but uh, the in-game sprites use a different design. The servo mechanism is now fully functional, and all it took was a simple fight to the death. It might mean not to install a mammoth heart aboard the Enterprise, would you? Much as I love her, I'd rather not be required to profess it, <laughs> but profess it before boarding. But enough of that, let us see our final preparations. Yeah, it was four in the US. Thanks to Biggs and Wedge, the Reaper is as good as new. We are prepared as we like to get. Okay. Yes, I heard... Uh, I uh, The general consensus from what I understand is that 6 and 9 are, like, pretty up there as the best Final Fantasy games. Or the best entries. Like, pretty... It's pretty tough between 6... Sorry, 6, 7, and 9 are usually competing for the top spot. How goes your preparations, Victor? We'll leave as soon as you're ready. Uh, Glaumont, you came. Yeah, 10 as well. 10, 10 is a little bit more divisive because memes. <laughs> uh, rather, it's not divisive, but some people are like, 10 is awful because, like, it is kind of a departure from the other Final Fantasy games. But generally speaking, I think most people say 10 is good. Like, really good. Waka sucks. Yeah, I remember Waka. It's like, he... He does have an arc involving that character trait, but I just don't like it. Yeah, first voice voice acting, which a lot of the voice acting, I will say, 10 is good. A lot of voice acting in 10 is good. And even including the laugh scene. I, I, the laugh scene out of context seems bad, but the laugh scene is like, it makes sense in context. And I know that term, it makes sense in context, has been memed to, to hell and back, but it really does. 
No, Dipper, it, it you gotta you gotta play it. It, it. it makes it makes sense. The laughter is bad on purpose. It because and and you know how I know because after that laugh scene, Titus and Yuna have a genuine laugh at how silly and stupid the laugh was. They have a genuine proper laugh of like Man, that was silly, and it's a nice, sweet bonding moment. Could it have been done better? Probably. <laughs> but it uh, there is context to it, I promise. I though I'd give you all a roar and send-off, tis the least I can do for the fine men and women what are about to make my lifelong wish come true. It is still cringe to hear. That is true. It is still cringe. <laughs> If even though the context makes it better, the actual execution is still <laughs> Well, we'll do our best. Hmm. It occurs to me, for all the help you've afforded us, we know little and less about you. What did the Empire do to earn your ire? Ah, but I fear I've put curiosity before the consideration. I quite understand if you'd rather not relieve those memories. Relive those memories. No, no, I don't mind, really. Truth be told, a part of me was itching to tell you my tale. Mind you, tis hardy, hardly novel. I ain't the first to suffer at Imperial hands. Like most folk, I used to have a mother. She was a sweet, caring woman with a smile never far from her face. There was a sister, too. Pretty little thing, she was. Gentle as a lamb, but tough as nails. We were poor folk living simple lives, and we knew happiness just the same. And then the Imperials came and took it all away. Oh, he's Alamegan! I see. Yeah, they usually have uh, Highlander Hures uh, to represent the Alamegans. When Alamigo fell, they put my family in a cap. Being a lad, I was made to do hard labor, while my mother and sister were forced to do far worse. They hid their suffering from me as best they could, but I knew, and the thought of it drove me mad. We had to escape, and so I hatched a plan to get us out of the city. Wow, that is extremely dark. We were picking our way around a gorge not far outside the walls when they came up with us. And rather than allow themselves to be taken again, my mother and sister leaped over the edge before my very eyes. Heartbroken as I was, I didn't put up a fight when the Imperials clapped me in, in chains and dragged me back. Twas some years after I escaped again, and that time I got away. I swore then that I'd get revenge on the Empire and become an adventurer so as to hone my skills and earn the coin I needed. But nigh on two decades of since gone by, and what have I achieved? Bugger all, that's what. Not like you lot. You ain't been here ten minutes and you've done more than I manage in ten bloody years. You give us too much credit, Glau Glaumont. We seek only to rescue our friends. Man, anybody, anybody who says that Final Fantasy XIV is a is a silly woo weeb anime game clearly has not played it. This makes sense too because, like, um, I mean, the Garleans have been colonizing places, right? And colonization comes that and. Uh, just like one of the one of the scions who has an echo in uh, in uh, at the waking sands before it was pillaged, um, imperialism. Yeah, that's right. Uh, there is a uh, half Garlean kid, I think. In uh, half Garlean, half Alamegan kid, Arnvald. Yes, Arnvald is half Alamegan because his dad was an imperial, uh, so he's a bastard child of an Imperial and an Alamegan woman, which is very tragic. The story is amazing. Final Fantasy XIV is a silly anime game, just like how Kirby has no dark lore. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Well, what's more important than that? And any road, after you've got your friends back, you're planning on going after the Empire and doing, uh, and don't pretend you ain't. 
I've helped a few folk take on the Imperials over the years, and every time I have, it's helped stave off my appetite for revenge. But Summer tells me I won't be going hungry for a while, what with everything you've got planned. And you are sure that that will satisfy you? If you wish to strike back at the Empire with your own hand, you need only say the word. We would be glad to have you with us. Tempting though your offer is, I, I'm afeard I must decline. I swore I'd get revenge on the Empire, it is true, but I've long since realized that the front lines ain't no place for a man like me. Aye, there's some as would call me craven, but I prefer to think of myself as a realist. My talents lie in scheming, you see, not swordplay. Helping folk like you is how I can make the most difference. That's smart. That's really smart. But that's quite enough storytelling for one day. Best not keep your friends waiting any longer. I, I'll be praying for your safety and success. May Ralgar give you strength. <laughs> yeah. Whatever the Empire goes, misery invariably, uh, invariably follows in its wake. For the sake of all who call, call Eorzea home, we must put an end to Gaius's ambitions. But first, you have friends to rescue. Biggs, Wedge, and I will lie in wait east of Castrum Sentry, just outside the Stronghold's patrol perimeter. Join us when you're ready. Oh. And don't forget to wear your disguise, or this will be the shortest rescue mission in history. You got it! It's great when a minor character shows up after two expansions and you recognize them. Oh yeah, this, this game likes to do that a lot. For better or for worse. Sometimes it can mean that they can't get rid of some really tedious quests in the past because they introduce certain characters. But... The payoff can be pretty nice. All right, time to be an Imperial. And do I have my uniform? Is it in my inventory? No. I have a banquet table. Speak with Sid while disguised as an Imperial soldier. Um. Do I need to go pick those up? <laughs> Did they not give it to me? Okay, I guess I gotta go. Okay, all right. Let's go to Gridania. I need to uh, go back and get quest rewards. Also, Dipper, if you're in here, uh, then you and if you still haven't gotten your magic armor, I can show you how to get it. Uh, if you accidentally lost the key. So this is how you get quest rewards. Uh, if you accidentally uh, discarded them, go to the amphitheater. Let's see. And then you go to the Calamity Salvager right here. And you can go quest rewards. There we go. And let's see. Let's see. Let's see. There we go. Mended Imperial Pot Helm. There it is. And Mended Imperial Short Robe. There we go. And that goes for anybody else either. Uh, you go to the Calamity Salvager if you ever want to buy a quest reward from the main story quest that you may have discarded. A uh, boop, and a uh, boop. There we are. I look the part, kind of. Uh, let's put on these, maybe? Yeah, there we go, there we go, okay. And these boots, maybe? Yeah, now I definitely look like an Imperial. Hell yeah, Imperial Catboy. Reporting for duty. Nice. Looks icky. Oh yeah, it looks icky. This is this is like a potato sack. It's very basic. Yeah, the, the calamity salvager is also where our belts are all going. Yeah, and job gear too. <laughs> Glory to Garlemald. Yeah. Right, let's turn these off. We go. No, we're not doing that fate.
Forgive me for saying so, but you cut quite a dashing figure in Imperial Black and Crimson. Ah, but now is not the time for jests. Thank you. Black and red I is part of my character's, like, color scheme. Let's review the infiltration plan. Castrum's sentry lies just beyond. A short while ago, an Imperial patrol left to do its rounds. Alphano and I will create a diversion out here and keep them occupied for as long as we are able. Meanwhile, the three of you will enter the stronghold, posing as the patrol returning from duty. Should Alphano and I prove less distracting than hoped, I will contact you via Link Pearl. Be ready to beat a hasty retreat. Yep, yep. Oh, they've got like mittens on. Yeet! <laughs> Nice. Wedge will lead the way into the Reaper. Uh, in the Reaper. Stay close to him. And I hardly need to tell you this, but don't go doing anything suspicious. Okay. Oh, unless you wonder. Ida and Ishtola left shortly before you arrived. We had planned that they should l linger in the vicinity to cover our retreat in the event that Alphano and I attract too much attention the approach of an Imperial vehicle forced us to improvise. Don't be too disappointed. They did at least leave a message for you. Something along the lines of, don't do anything reckless if memory serves. Wise words. Man, this game's pretty. I, I often just like, doing when doing my dailies, I just forget to take in how nice the art style of this game is. All right, the Imperial Patrol should be returning any moment now. You'd best be off. Or rather, the art direction. The art style is like, you know, basic, realistic anime stuff. The art direction, like this? This shot looks good. Good luck, Victor. May the 12 keep you. It's like, not overly detailed. Like, like some of these newer MMOs, I feel, are just too too much graphics like you know what i mean like you look at black desert online for example it's like it's pretty it's gorgeous but like there's too much i feel this game has just enough toned back Ugh. oh god you have spirit that i will allow yet you struggle to the benefit of none least of all yourself This echo of yours intrigues us. We desire only to understand it. And for that, we need your help. You wish to be rid of the icons, do you not? You would have saved yourself a great deal of torment had you accepted our aid from the beginning. God, I wish that were me. <sighs> Okay, maybe not that. That warrants Tell a safe word. And I shall end it quickly. Refuse, and though you beg for death, you shall not have it. Which will it be? As you wish, my dear Minfilia. Unpleasant though it will be for all concerned, you leave us no choice but to employ more... Rigorous methods of study. Be so kind as to deliver the prisoners to Castrum Meridiana. Oh, I know that place. Yes, my lady. <sighs> Ouch. Ooh. Why do you have a safe word? Why do you not? Always have a safe word. Safe words are important. Okay, here we are. Hello. How do you do, Flamio Hotman? Oh, my apologies. I didn't notice you there. So engrossed was I in my task. You'd be engrossed too, had the Tribunus command you to arrange for the prisoners to be transported. What prisoners do I speak of? You mean you haven't heard? Only the infamous Science of the Seventh Dawn, captured by the Tribunus herself. 
If you don't believe me, have a look in the storage tower when next you pass that way. Mm. Hotman? 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 Castrum Sentry will be placed under high alert. Those found where they do not belong will be summer, uh, summarily punished. Gotcha. This guy, this guy is really enjoying his work. He's like, man, ain't nobody gonna get past me. Hello. Hello. <laughs> man, I love being evil. Hmm, that's a fine salute. Part of the maintenance crew from the Ossidans, are you? Welcome to Castrum Sentry, Engineer. What? Prisoners? Ah, you've heard the rumors then. Yes, they're being held in the storage tower, but I strongly suggest you pay them no mind. You were summoned here to work, not to gawp at Eorzea's defeated heroes. Uh, now show a bit of enthusiasm, or I'll have you reported. Oh, yep. Yes, siree! Hmm, ah, evil. I can't wait to do some imperialism. How about conquering the world, lads? Let us bring this one perfect race together. Uh. How's it going, Biggs? Security's tight, just as we expected. We're going to need a special key if we want to get past this bulkhead. Mm, should I, shouldn't I be at my post? Uh, I suppose so, but such things don't seem to matter anymore. I've fallen for one of the prisoners. She's all I can think of late. Am I, am I a deviant for wanting her to salute me? <laughs> That's a mood. What is that, uh, what is the reverse Stockholm Syndrome called again? Greetings, comrade. Forgive me for asking, but you haven't visited the storage tower recently, have you? I only ask because I dropped something in there and, uh, uh who am I fooling? I've fallen for one of the prisoners, all right? I dare say you know the one. I mean, uh, the svelte blonde? Uh, goodness, no. It's the Lala Felon lass I'm smitten with. She's so adorable, it hurts. I want to sweep her up into my arms and squeeze her till my arms ache. What do you reckon it would take to convince the Centurion to lead me, uh, lend me the key so I can see her? Lima Syndrome? <laughs> A man of culture, I see. Lima Ball. Sorry, that's not even... Alright, anyway. Hello! What's this? You need access to the storage tower? What business do you have there? At the Tribunus's behest, you say? This is highly irregular, but it would not do to make my lady wroth. Take my identification key. See that it is returned when your errand is concluded. Alright. Um, this way. There we go. Hey, Biggs. I got the key. So how goes that hacking? Here you go. He Lala fell for her. Somebody ban that person. <laughs> Damn, Biggs, you you've been working out. You got some nice calves. Oh, actually. I'm curious. This is, I'm. Are there actually any mods in the chat? <laughs> I wonder. Boss, you you here? You're usually here. What is a mod? I know, right? Who needs mods? Mods are asleep. Mods are asleep. Everybody, cat jam. No! Oh, there's a Cox Jam in there. Hell yeah! Jesse Cox is awesome. Minfilia and the rest. Thank goodness they're safe. I am the one you want. Leave the others be. 
If you harm my friends, I swear I shall take my own life, and you shall answer for your mistress. To your mistress, sorry. We must do something. Seems like that one Imperial Guard isn't the only one smitten with Tataro. We risk letting the entire Castrum know we're here. Aye, you're right. We may not get a better chance. This is the third squadron. What is it? Reaper seized when it and this came to light only now the culprits will have left a trail take as many men as you need and scour the area I want the Reaper found now's our chance here we go oh <laughs> what the strike my last <laughs> What's up? Eliminate the intruders! Hell yeah, Wedge! Wedge, you're kind of you're kind of shooting Tataru there. She's, she's in the line of fire. Okay, there you go. There we go. Hey, how do you like my ear socks? Victor, I was so scared. <laughs> friend zoned I was foolish of you it was foolish of you to come here you might have been killed but thank you I shudder to think what might have happened had you not arrived when you did I say did you not see Thancred anywhere I'm beginning to fear for the fellow oh yeah we haven't seen him since the raid on the waking sands to linger here shall yield us no answer let us away, ere the window of our liberty close shut. What did you say? Escaped? Then recapture them! Fail, and I shall have your head. Oh, God. And what have we here? Oh, the two sassy girls. The Tribune is herself, just as you said. You have the eye of an uh, Araman, Ida. Oh, shit! Well, she's kind of hard to miss in that showy armor of hers. Accursed scions. How did you slip our defenses? With unexpected ease, if truth be told. There chanced to be a commotion outside the Castrum's walls, which allowed us to avail ourselves to the comfort of your vehicle. Ishtola, just being polite. Ishtola's just being polite. That was one of the most uncomfortable things I've ever stowed away in. It's no wonder it's called the Phantom Train. No passenger would be seen dead on it. So, you scuttled in amidst the freight, like the vermin you are. I shall be sure to have your have words with your rat catcher. Such negligence is unforgivable. That is far from your most pressing concern. Oh yeah, Phantom Train, that's a reference. First, you must answer for your own wrongdoings, Livia Sass Junius. Twas you who led the raid on the Waking Sands. You who butchered unarmed men and women for the crimes of being unworthy of capture. Now that's a war crime. 
You killed our friends. We'll never forgive you. Nor shall we suffer you to plague Eorzea day longer. Betake you and your guard. Uh-oh. Oh, it's that guy who really enjoyed being evil. More intruders! Protect the Tribunus! Confound it. Ida, with me. Punch time! Yeah! And there goes all their mocap budget. Where is his excellency? In the hangar, my lady, in discussion with our guest. Alert him at once. Yes, my lady. Yes, Erasmus, I will be participating in the last Aslanti challenge. I will be doing it every Sunday. No, 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 no! Damn. There they are. Fan out and surround them. Oh, time to escape. Must protect Tataru. Biggs, I'm going in. See everyone to safety. Oh, bravery moment. Ah, mini arc. Mini character arc. No, Wedge, don't do it! Oh, That's good. Oh no, Victor, hold them off. I'll look after Minfili and Tataru. Here we go. <laughs> Robotato. <laughs> Uh, tank stance would be good. There we go. Alright, Magic Armor, you are taking no damage. I'm waiting for the mechanic to go on. So I can finally do some small damage. Uh, something must be nearby. Okay, go find it. Something's generating. Ah. Hello. Do you... Ah, there it is. Field generator. There we go. And now damage? Yes. There we are. There we go. Another one? No. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh. Oh, crap. Oh, fuck. Oh. Okay. Did I take out yours yet? No, I did not. Okay. Yours should be around here pretty close by. There it is. Goosh, 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 goosh. And you. Oh, that's a centurion. Colossus, sorry. Bring forth the Colossus. Oh, there it is. Okay. We're just gonna find it in this little corner. Little cramped hallway. There we go. I really like this song, actually. It's like the Scion's theme. That, like, light motif. Ah, oh, it's nice. Oh, I'm still in my disguise. Whoops.
Oh, it's just two guys. We can take two guys. Take the leader. Kill the rest. Yeah. Wait a minute. That's what Astrologian what does. The Astola. Not White Mage. Pray, forgive us our delay. Punch. Damn, Yustola is so strong she was able to multi-class. Papalino, Minfilia. Ida. What took you so long? <laughs> well, it's nice to see you too. She was able to cast those shields since 1.0. Wow. Must wait. Right. First things first. Yes. Let's get back to being heavily outnumbered. <laughs> uh oh. Oh no! You ditched your Magitek armor. Fool of a Lalafell. Fool of a Took. Well, excuse me. She's all yours if you think you can do any better. They're all right. Their ARR voice acting's okay. Oh! She lives! But there's no one in there. This is Sid. Can you hear me? I need you to count to five, then jump. Understood? Oh, God. One, two, three, four. Am I going to say five? <laughs> nope, just nod. Five! Hey! I know not which is more pitiful, the charlatans who rule Eorzea, or the masses that clamor for their implausible panaceas. What is Arian J's job class at this point? Uh, scholar, I think. I see that which they cannot. This realm founders for want of a ruler with true power, the power to cast down icons. If you continue to deny this truth, it is the people who will suffer. Embrace reason. Ah, yes. Your free will is only causing more suffering. Also, oh, very convenient that we were able to fit in that small gap to land on the thing what and not on the, the seven not on the blimp part. Oh, there it is. That's the thing that oh, ate the primals. No. It's here. Twelve preserve us. They finished it. Ultima weapon. Uh, it's the Ultima weapon. So it has a name. It is a relic of ancient Alag, excavated from its resting place deep beneath Alamigo. The Alagans used it to crush primal and foe alike. And now the Garleans mean to do the same. Damn you, Gaius! Look! There, beside the Black Wolf! An Asian. Yeah, they've been working An together. Overlord, no less. His garb attests to that. That's La Habrea. That's the symbol. We've seen that before. La Habrea. It could only be him. Dun dun dun! Thankrid. He was La Habrea? No. No, this cannot be.
We have to go now. Hang on. Thancred! No! <laughs> Man. Like, first time seeing this, people must have been like, What the f- What? What? This must have blown people's minds. All that time, the enemy was beside me, and I never even suspected. And to think that it was I who suggested that Thancred investigate the Asians. <sighs> How could I have been so blind? And like thinking about it, it's like, but what about all those scenes about him caring about Menphilia and doing all this stuff? Something's not right. Small wonder the enemy knew our every move and where to find us. <sighs> Confound it all. <sighs> no. No, this is not the time for self-doubt. The Alliance leaders stake their hopes on the Scions, but now they believe us all dead or missing. When they learn of the Empire's new weapon, we cannot be certain what they will do. We must go and offer them what assurances we can that defeat is not inevitable. All due respect, Alphano, who made you the leader? Who died and make you the le- Oh, wait, hmm, wait, hold on. I, I retract that statement. Cryol, this is Minfilia. The situation may have taken an ill turn. So forgive me if I seem brusque. But the battle the is far I from over. Is and so long as we stand together, Wonderful. there shall ever be I'm hope of victory. Press, but we need it urgently. The people of How Eorzea falter for want God, of the, the audio balancing Let here is, uh... Debt, Let friend. us bear to them the tidings that the Scions of the Seventh Dawn are returned. Oh, Cryo was name-dropped? Did she just... Did she just call Cryo? Oh. Nice. That's pretty cool. Matters are coming to a head. Cryo called her. Oh. I hope we can count on you. My regards to grandfather. Minfilia's grandfather? Oh. I am ready. I've never Let I don't actually remember her mentioning her granddad. Leadership. A hey, Raubon. Hells take the black wolf and his new toy. Rally all available forces. I want them ready to move upon my word. And relay to Slafersin to order to sail. That is all. The maelstrom stands ready. What of the flames? Ready as we're like to be. I need only give the word to Royal. Yeah, I don't think we know who Grandfather is referring to. Yeah, either. It's like, I th she never, because uh, I don't remember any mention of Minfilia's Grandfather. Maybe that might come up again. Maybe not. Has there been no word from Ishgard? None. The dragons have got their tongues. Silent to the last. I was unwise to hope for better. What would stir the Archbishop to open his holy mouth if not this? And he claims the fury for his god. Tis bad comedy. The Holy See has made its choice. We will proceed without its cooperation. Damn, name dropping Ishgard. Ryul? Ry Ryu? God, such a small council. I believe we are all acquainted with the terms of the Black Wolf's ultimatum. We must agree upon a course of action. Not less than the fate of Eorzea hangs upon the decision of this council.
Van Belsar claims to wield the power to smite primals. By the way, uh, if you're curious, primals and icon are interchangeable terms. Should we yield to him, he pledges to rid the realm of its false gods, yet offer resistance, and he swears that we shall share the primal's fate. Pardon me my bluntness, but I like not these choices. This is too great a decision for any one of our nations to make alone. Choose, we surrender, or resistance, we must answer as one. For if but one surrenders, the rest shall surely fall. Let us pray for the wisdom to do right by all our people. Okay, and they discuss. Alphano, how are you feeling? Once the people of Eorzea learned that the Scions of the Seventh Dawn have returned, they will surely rally to our cause. We need only sound the clarion call. Hello, Tataru. Deep in the desert of my heart, lonely flower. Oh, this is. This is what she was singing back in Waking Sands. Oh, Victor, I hope my singing doesn't bother you. I'd rather fond of this little ditty. It reminds me of home. Aww. Oh, you put your You put your pet. What do you think, Victor? Was she impressed? Do you think she might consider, you know? Uh, I think you need to give her, what is a tier three sub, like $15? I think if you give her 15 gil, maybe she might think about learning your name. That wasn't at all how I expected things to play out. But at least we escaped with our lives. 25, yeah, there we go, 25 gil. Sorry we had to resort to such dramatic methods to escape. Things escalated so quickly that Alphano and I saw no other alter alternative. Subscribe to her only fells. That's awesome. Thancred's plight troubles us all, yet we cannot allow anything to come between us and our goal. So long as the ultimate weapon exists, Eorzea will never know peace. Let us go to the Alliance leaders, Victor, and help them make the right decision. Well, let me get out of these garbs first. Um, there we go. Ah, much better. It's like being in my own skin again. Grim tidings, Victor. It seems that the word of the Ultima Weapon's existence has already reached the Alliance leaders in the form of an ultimatum. They may, they have gathered in the fragrant chamber and are deliberating their answer even as we speak. Billigured as they are, I fear they may well elect to lay down their arms in belief that surrender will spare their people untold suffering, yet nothing could be further from the truth. That which the Black Wolf offers will do Maeorzea, not deliver it, and the leaders must be made aware of this. Let us hurry to them, Victor, and ensure that they do not act in ignorance of the consequences. Mm. Now, oh my god, this is going to sound really bad. Now, I'm totally all for fighting the Alliance, right? Or rather, fighting the Garleans um, and all that. But... What does what doom does she mean that they'll so far they haven't provided me with uh, much of or they haven't really provided much of a reason not to submit to the Garlands I guess aside from total submission I guess I guess that yeah never mind give up our freedoms or die Do we fight and have our people suffer, or do we lay down and have our people suffer? Yeah, yeah. Never mind. That's true. No magic fascism. Yeah. I, I wish that they had, like, been clear with that, though. I, I don't think they're clear about that. They say we'll be sub submit to them, but they're not clear that what that means is no more magic and uh, basically be under their thumb of rule. Stop the primals from being summoned. You remove the cause of the summoning. Oh, us. I see. Gotcha, gotcha. Perhaps uh, I don't feel as though that is depicted uh, as clearly in the dialogue, but they do a better job of that in the later expansions. Yeah, freedom as well. Yeah, no more freedom, no more summoning. 
Yeah, ARR does a really bad job of showing who the Garleans are. Agreed. Yeah, agreed. I think uh, Stormblood does a better job of it. To especially post-Stormblood. Post-Stormblood does a really good job of showing the Garleans' motivations. I'm sorry, you're here on behalf of the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. A thousand pardons, my lord. Uh, of course you may enter. Hey, you and me, we're wearing the same thing. They want to stop all magic. Well, they, that's not really clear in ARR. That's what we're ah, saying. We keep treading the same ground. Van Belsar's demands are clear. Alas, our minds are not. Uh, how does fascism work again? Fascism is like total submission to the government, uh, essentially. Whatever governing body has absolute say over basically everything you do. So, no personal freedoms. I've Something like that. I think that's a butchering of what fascism is, but that's like the general gist. Is, uh, basically the governing body has a lot of control over a lot of what you do. Uh, I've never been one too shy from a fight. If this weapon of theirs can do all that they claim. Uh, oh yeah, he's he's being... Yeah. Imperialism is pretty evil in itself. Yeah, well, like, that's why they're the evil empire, right? It has been five years since the Calamity. And our people have scarce begun to rebuild their lives. Yeah, look, I, I don't don't ask me what fascism is. I I don't think I have a clear enough definition myself off the back of my hand. Uh, I think googling it is probably better. Can we now, in good conscience, call upon them to risk what little they have left? I would spare them the pain of further conflict. Conflict, I say, though that would imply forces set in opposition. If the combined might of three primals could not stay Garlemald's new terror, what meaningful resistance can we offer? We who struggle to quell the foes who rise up within our own borders. Long have we fought the primals, but to what end? We strike them down at no small cost. Only for them to rise again and again. There we go. Like, see, they're they're giving merit to somewhat of the Garland's proposal. Are we to play this profitless game for the rest of days? I, for one, grow tired of it. Mistake me not. I do not propose to trade one tyranny for another. But they do have a little bit of a point. I love liberty. But conciliation need not mean oppression. By the Twelve, though neither of you cried surrender, your every word betokened it. I don't know that Gaius <sighs> literally I did nothing wrong. Truth in what you say. I will, I will I strongly and respectfully disagree with that. Fight. Just because... Well, that's spoilers. Never mind. I'm not gonna break. Just because he's spoiler doesn't mean he is, you know, uh, excused of wrongdoing. Yeah, he did a lot wrong. Refugees flood our gates, and beastmen swarm our land, while the great and the good do nothing. My flames struggle to bear the burden. I put on a grand show at the Remembrance Service, made all manner of lofty promises. I've made good on not a bloody one. I disagree. I think Ga Gaius is, uh... With spoiler in mind, my conclusion is that Gaius is not a good man. Because... I don't know. It's hard to say without spoilers, but that is my opinion, and that's, you know, I I am fine with his depiction. I do not think he's good, and I do not think they're trying to pretend that he is good. 
Do not blame yourself, Raban. You said only that which the people needed to hear. All present have done the same. Our citizens had become lost to hope. If our words served to kindle it in them anew, better we speak than remain silent. Who is Gaius again? He's the guy that looks like Darth Vader. He's the guy that was manning the ultimate, ultimate weapon. And he was like, You, tall, hot one in white armor, be in my chambers in one hour. Which, which I'm, I'm willing to bet because we didn't see any follow-up to that, I'm assuming, I'm assuming that they banged. Our enemy condemns us for failing our people. Yet what does he care for their well-being? While we labored to rebuild their lives, the Black Wolf built instruments of murder with which to end them. Because, you know, like, you know, relieving stress and all that. I, I don't think he had any feelings for her. I don't think Gaius is that kind of guy. I think it's just like, you know, I need to pass the time and I need to relieve stress. And I need to be in my utmost performance. Her Majesty speaks true. For all our failings, the people's well-being has ever been our foremost priority. But maybe not. I don't know. Yeah, didn't he just send me a doctor? I don't know. Like, I don't, I don't know what that line was about. But... While none among us ever doubted that the Empire would one day resume its war, we scarcely had means enough to solve the problems of the present. Wait, they can take off their armor? No, no, no. Here's here's what happens. Here's how they bang, right? They you just you just like hear from the other room like And then you just hear, "What is it good for you?" <laughs> and then and then the girl's like, "You that was really fast." And he's like, "Such devastation. This was not my intention." Aye, which is why we look to others to safeguard our future. The scions of the Seventh Dawn. Alas, they are gone. And the Black Wolf is at our door. Yeah, Black Wolf, that's Gaius. Admiral! I fear you are mistaken. Oh? Alphinord, Minfilia, uh, and Seven Hells, Master Garland? You don't pronounce the D in Alphino. And you, dear friend. Say my name. Say it! By Ralga, you're alive. All of you. I haven't seen you since the tutorial. As we approached, I would swear I heard talk of surrender. But I know that cannot be. It is not the Eorzean way. Hear me, my friends. You really need to start Accepting the camera there. Accepting the Galleon's offer to vanquish the primals would be folly. Folly, I say. For might is not the answer to the primal threat. Indeed, the more the Empire exerts its strength, the worse matters will become. But how, though? You have an ex- Oh, uh, yeah. I, I think this is just a result of ARR's budget and time constraints, that they don't really get a chance to explore the Empire. But that's what Stormblood's for. Primals enter this world when mortals call upon them, and mortals are wont to appeal to a higher power when they are desperate. Nothing is more certain to breed desperation in the beast tribes than the Garlean's proposed solution. Yeah, this is a good counterpoint. Subjugation will the just cause more peace, desperation. But the Garleans only know war and conquest. Should Eorzea fall into their hands, there will be such suffering as none can imagine. We are not blind to the many challenges that each of your nations face. Yet you must not give in. They were still running 1.0 servers while this part of the game was in development. Oh yeah, so their, their resources were spread real thin. Um, and Philia's reasoning is also working on the knowledge that there is Asians behind here. Yeah, so like, even if, even if, and this is a massive if, big if, true, if 
the Garleans are to rule benevolently and, you know, have everyone under their subjugation, it is with the knowledge that there is an Asian pulling the strings behind the curtain. I remember five years ago when you wagered all for the sake of the realm. Remember what you fought for, what you were willing to die for. Let the memories rekindle the fire in your heart, for Eorzea has need of it again. Come what may, we Scions will never give up the fight. Uh, the quality of how ARR turned out is impressive with how badly stretched out the development team was. Yeah, in the context, now, in a vacuum, like on its own merits, ARR is eh, fine. It's okay. But that they were able to achieve this with what they were working with is a miracle. This game is a miracle. The ARR is a miracle to exist. Its quality, kind of all over the place, but its existence is fucking mind blowing. And so I bid you stand with us. And together we shall safeguard the future of the realm. A great man once said that a shrewd merchant grasps not for the quick profit, but invests in the future. Wise words, eh, Raban? Hmm. I'm willing to bet that's a 1.0 line. Sid, I... Uh... Your words stir and shame me in equal measure. How could I contemplate surrender? I know full well that all we have, we owe to the sacrifices of those who went before us. Yet the seeming hopelessness of our plight robbed me of my insight. We Gridanians have no love for war. But? Yet we have still less for those who would threaten our homeland. Ever have we fought to protect those things we hold dear. And this shall never change. Yeah! <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Gridania will go to war. We will fight the Empire. I have never... For the sake of the realm and all who abide here. I don't think I've ever seen Merlewib phased. Like that. <laughs> Everyone is like, <laughs> what? gonna die at long last i hear words worthy of a founder of the alliance well bon, are we to be all done i lost one homeland the thought of losing another had blunted my resolve see see we we got to play final fantasy 10 after all No man knows better than I that if you want aught, you'd best be ready to die for it. With great danger comes the chance for great glory and great profit. We old dons who have turned sand into gold know this well. By the way, is the audio okay, uh, chat? I know I, I haven't checked in for a while, so I assume it's fine. How many times have we fallen into the pit of despair? Only to have you pluck All right, us awesome. out. I've fair lost count. Reckless. The lot of you. Like bloody pirates. Well, I won't waste my breath trying to talk you round. On account of being a pirate myself. And the pirate who shrinks from a challenge is no pirate at all. I love you, Merle Wither. Those who would pick a quarrel with us must choose. Back down or go down with all hands. Let the Garleans come. The united strength of Limsa Lominsa will be waiting for them. Yeah. 
She had the best VA in ARR yet. To be free of this pall of darkness, let it be by our own hand. I think her and the narrator at the beginning uh, are the best voices in ARR. Yeah, fuck your declaration of submission. We must needs consider how the weapon may be brought to bear against us. The Maelstrom will secure strategic points along the coastline. In the meantime, the flames will deploy at... Be at ease, my friends. You have banished our doubts. Pray leave the military matters to us and retire to the waking sands. We will send word anon. Mandeville is busy mourning the loss of his son. Oh yeah, that's right, yeah. That is true. All right, pray return to the waking sands, oh boy. Godward would win? Oh, easy. Godward has access to LB4. Hello there. Hello there. Thank you, too. Rampage. Charge. The Sianigan. Medale. The Badesman, Rustic V2, DD Cool 97, The Badesman again, and uh, Joe Salama. Thank you. Hey, I think this is a good time to do our second raffle. Uh, it hasn't gone yet, but I'm going to be giving away. I gotta make the raffle. Hold on, I gotta make the giveaway. Custom. Uh, I am giving away. A D and D adventure book, the Wi Wild Beyond the Witch Light, which involves going to uh, adventure book, uh, D and D adventure book, uh, which involves going to a carnival of some sorts, a carnival sort of thing and it looks real cool and fun and it's got like a lot of like little mini games and carnival games that you gotta like do skill checks to get prizes and stuff so we are going to start that uh, now and uh yep you may enter by doing exclamation point uh raffle i think to get a ticket and uh yeah think did it work yeah there we go oh i forgot to do the thing where subscribers get two tickets oh well well it's, it's too late now uh yes you can only enter once so, exclamation point raffle for your chance to win a, uh, The Wild Beyond the Witchlight Adventure Book for D&D 5th Edition. It's got a bunch of carnival stuff, a bunch of fun little minigames, and little trinkets from what it sounds like. Must be new, I've never heard of it. Can we do waffle to receive continental breakfast? Yes, yes, I'll, I'll make, <laughs> I'll make you some waffles and eggs. Uh, actually, I'm going to poll chat. That's a good question. Um, I'm going to poll the chat about how you like your eggs. Let's see, where's the poll? Manage poll. New poll. How egg scrambled sunny side up. Uh, soft boiled Hard-boiled or raw? 
and I'll allow additional votes. Uh, no, I won't. Start poll. How do you like your eggs, chat? How do you like your eggs? Fried rice. Egg fried rice. I like egg fried rice. Oh, there's people here. A shift number, I don't know, 14. Hello, you weren't here before. Slafswin. My dear sister drew her last breath here in battle with the Empire. To her, the fight for Eorzea's future was more important than her homeland. True to her beliefs to the end, she was. Oh, so I guess these are some of the survivors who weren't out here. Who weren't here. Yeah, these are the people who probably weren't here. Um, when it, when it was attacked. No matter how dark the night, one day the dawn will break. As long as brave souls like yourself take up the cause, the Scions will never stand down. Yeah, and new recruits as well. Yeah, Arnvald is here. Arnvald survived. As one age endeth and another doth arise, so do our struggles wax and wane. What wouldst thou ask of me? Um... Oh, this is the quest for the primal stuff. Uh, Wigstan, I don't think you were here before. We came away with our lives, though our losses weigh heavily on our hearts. We must carry on for those who have fallen. Hi, Arnvald. So this this guy, Arnvald, he's the bastard child of a Garlean uh, imperialist and, uh, and an Alamegan woman. And he's got very sad backstory. I should have done something, done anything, but I didn't. And now Abba and o Oli are. I will not let it be for nothing. I, I will earn this. Yes, you will. You are a good boy. You are a best boy. I love you, are involved. All right. Looks like uh, the majority of chat likes scrambled eggs. Taste. You have taste. Scrambled is wonderful. I love scrambled. Delicious. 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 I'm gonna eat more mixed nuts. You don't like any of those options. How do you like your eggs? Those are like basically all the options for how to eat egg. Over easy. Isn't that sunny side up? What is over easy? Over medium, fluffy egg. Oh yeah, deviled eggs, that's right. Flip egg, cook both sides, I see. Poached, the heck is a poached egg? Hold on. Poached egg. Ew, no. Actually, hmm, maybe. This is a poached egg, here. Whoops, that's not the right one. Uh, display one, there we go. This is a poached egg. It's basically like over easy, but you break the yolk and have it spill over. That, that's, that's pretty all right. What's over medium? Yeah, I've never heard of a, a poached egg okay so over medium is a little bit more cooked so it's like got some stuff over easy egg oh yeah over easy is like barely cooked hmm gotcha gotcha oh yeah and omelets yeah oh well okay it, it seems I'm fake egg fake fake egg fan I need to get more informed on my eggs she hasn't said a word to me since the rescue. Was it all for nothing? Uh, Wedge, you don't rescue someone so they can admire you. That, that's, that's, you're, you're approaching nice guy territory there. For many years, I dedicated my life to the research and development of Magitech, unable or unwilling to see the rep repercussions of my work. And though I have since left Galvamald behind, its scientists continue to build upon my work. 
I fear that this new weapon may be another example of that, an ancient relic enhanced with technologies I created. Yet even should that be the case, it would still require brilliant, brilliant mind to... No. No, he didn't. Mmm. The pronoun game. What's next on the agenda? We're ready to get to work. Saru? I understand you gave our fallen brothers and sisters a proper burial. I'm sure they appreciate it. When the Empire is beaten and all is over, let us visit them at the church. Aww. The counter-offensive will come, uh, to come will require the total commitment of every allied nation, as well as the flawless coordination of all forces. I pray the council will understand this. Are we, we're approaching the end, aren't we? Man, this game, the pace of this is reaching like the climax a lot faster than I remember. Had I not intervened, the Garlean soldiers may well have done, uh, have done for, uh, the Garlean soldier may as well have done for Ida lowering her guard in the heat of battle as though she were on an evening stroll. How much of a scatterbrain can she be? Uh, well, at least we cannot fault her for being inconsistent. Hmm. Instead of gratitude for coming to his rescue, Papalimo called me a scatterbrain. Next time he's caught by the Empire, I'm leaving him to rot. <laughs> we may have uh, surmounted this la latest trial. The worst is yet to come. We must remain focused. I will not see our efforts wasted in futile regret. And as for Thancred, he and I will have much to discuss. Oh yeah, Thancred, I forgot about that. Man, now I'm thinking about eggs. I cannot well express my relief to think that the Alliance came so close to surrender. But the fire in their hearts has been rekindled and they will fight to the last. This warmth inside. Did you feel it too, Grandfather? I would know something. Was that your power at work earlier? Nothing of the sort. The leaders of Eosia had lost their way. I merely helped them to find it again. Do we eat the eggs with oh, or without the peel? Hello. I. Yes, our party returned just a moment ago. How close are you? I mean, like, it's kind of hard to leave the peel there and also know. Man, I don't... I, I'm seriously considering calling the stream so I can make some egg dish right now. Like, my stomach is a-rumbling. I might take a little break. I'm not going to cook any eggs, but I might go heat up a little meal. The shell? No, no, no. There's, like, an inner membrane... That's like a peel. Like, have you ever uh, hard boiled an egg or soft boiled? And whenever you peel the shell off, there's that that extra layer of like a little. It's like a little film. Yeah, the annoying skin. Yeah. It's all right, Sid. We must needs plan our next move. Pray continue liaising with your respective nations, Sid. Would you be our man in Ulda? I'll be whatever and wherever you need me to be. We haven't a moment to waste. All right, let's do this. Sancred's fate weighs heavy on my mind. I cannot bear to think of him enthralled to an Asian. Mm. Mayhap you know this already, but the Asians are immortal beings without physical form. Since time immemorial, they have fanned the flames of chaos from the shadows. That they might work unseen, the Asians entrap and possess mortal men by means of malign artifacts known as Crystals of Darkness. One such crystal may yet be the key to saving Thancred. Oh, that's the one that this we got. This is a Crystal of Darkness. Wait, no, we didn't get one from anybody because they, they disappear as soon as we defeated that one Asian guy. A mere replica, created using data obtained from anomalous crystals found across Eorzea. Uh, somebody uh, lowered the gain on Ishtola. It comes to us courtesy of the students of Baldessian, our distant allies. Oh, yeah. He's from Baldessian, I think. Even for an Archon, right? Thancred's talents are exceptional. We all had complete confidence in him. It was for this reason 
that none among us <gasps> That's the call the from Cryol oh! to investigate the Asians alone. That was the call from Cryol. That's what that was. Wow, it's so subtle. Thancred had been striving to fill the void left by Louis Soir. Yet it was plain that he was overtaxing himself. Yeah. He would volunteer for everything and work till he was dizzy. And the toll taken by his exertions made him vulnerable to Asian influence. Hmm. The crystal that binds Thancred must be somewhere on his person. If we could but destroy it, his Asian possessor would be compelled to relinquish control over him. You have proven the stoutest of allies, standing with us through thick and thin. Baldessia, that's the land that Charlian is at, right? Or am I incorrect in thinking that? Just like how Gridania is in the Twelve's Wood and Ulda is in... No, it's a different place? Okay, never mind. My bad. Yet the most perilous struggle is still to come. For the sake of the realm and Thancred, I ask that gotcha. you lend us your strength once more. She's unbearable. I think that's a Thank little bit of an exaggeration. From the bottom of my heart. There are wor there is worse voice acting out there, and maybe it's bad on its own right, but it's not awful, in my opinion, anyway. Oh, it's Eureka. Oh. As I am sure you are aware, the realm was saved from certain doom five years ago by heroes known as the Warriors of Light. What you may not be aware of is that your many feats in service to the Scions have prompted folk to make certain comparisons. Oh, that's flattering. I must confess, you do remind me of them. Yet remember this, however glorious the past, it is the hero's lot to be judged on the deeds of the present. Oh, it's nearby, Charlian. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. A new darkness threatens the realm, and the people cry out for a savior. I believe that you are he, a warrior of light, here in the present, guided by the crystal's will. Hmm. Come, my friends. Let us fight to safeguard the future of our beloved Eorzea. Hmm. So we would brief you on the Eorzean's alliance plan, uh, plan to counter offensive against the Empire. Man, I didn't, I might be able, I might beat base ARR today. All present? Then let us begin. We have received the details of the impending operation. In what promises to be the largest single council offensive in the realm's troubled history, the Alliance will strike at every Imperial stronghold standing upon Eorzean soil. As might be expected, the operation will be complex. But you need not commit its intricacies to memory. It is enough that each man understands his part and plays it to the best of his ability. The final instructions you will receive at each staging point. Yeah, what duty wait? I'm a tank. To begin, let us review the distribution of our forces. From west to east, the Maelstrom of Limza Liminza, the Immortal Flames of Uldar, and the Order of the Twin Adder of Gridania. Next, let us examine locations of the Imperial Strongholds. Near Limza Liminza, we have Castrum Ossidens, situated in eastern Vilbrand, and Castrum Merenium, which lies to the south and east of the midst of, Rotanos, of the Rotano Sea. Near Uldar, we have Castrum Merianum to the north, and the coastal outpost of Cape Westwind, which connects Castrum Marinium and the mainland by means of a Magitek transport. Near Gridania, we have Castrum Oriens, which lies upon the eastern edge of the Twelveswood. 
And finally, in Mordona, stands Castrum Sentry, a thorn in the heart of Eorzea. The forthcoming operation will see Allied forces assault each of the aforementioned locations, with the ultimate objective of destroying the Empire's new weapon housed within Castrum Meridianum. As one might expect of the Black Wolf's seat of power, Castrum Meridianum boasts all but impenetrable defenses. If we are to breach it, we must needs isolate it from its sister strongholds. To do otherwise would be the, to risk being caught twixt hammer and anvil. The operation will com uh, comprise four districts' phases, all told. The first shall see us eliminate the one of the Black Wolf's most trusted lieutenants, Ra Ritatine Sas Arvina. Oh, Cape Westwind. Oh, fuck. According to our intelligence, the the Prefectus is due to visit the Imperial Outpost at Cape Westwind for an inspection. When he arrives, he shall dispatch an elite adventurer unit to eliminate him. Victor, we will have you lead this assault. Rittatin is a peerless field tactician. Shorn of his leadership, the garrison at Castrum Ossidens will be as, as a snake without its head. Retardin? Probably. Phase 2 will see us uh, sever Castrum Meridianum's primary line of supply. As soon as Retardin's presence is confirmed at the coastal outpost, the Maelstrom will lay siege to Castrum Ossidens. In the very hour, the Lemins and Armada, held by the admirable Admiral herself, shall move to blockade Castrum Marinum. Marinum. Meanwhile, in the Twelfth Wood, the Order of the Twin Adder will surround Castrum Oriens. And they'll have the Sylphs to help them. Frixio has been... Uh, Frixio's been waiting for a chance to avenge these ones. Oh, he knows that they don't have any pronouns. Phase 3 shall see us neutralize Castrum Meridianum's defenses. Forming our main thrust, the Immortal Flames will march against the Stronghold with all their strength, while the enemy's eyes are drawn, uh, are thus drawn onwards, another elite adventurer shall, a unit shall infiltrate the Castrum. Its mission, to disable the Magitech Field Generator, which protects the Praetorium, a fortress within a fortress wherein the ultimate, the Ultima weapon is believed to be housed. Victor, we would have you take command once more. Meanwhile, the Order of the Twin Adder will blockade the railway, which connects Sentry and Meridianum, preventing the timely arrival of reinforcements from Mordona. A wise precaution. A, a wise precaution. The monstrous locomotive which runs back and forth between the two castra is capacious enough to transport a small army by all accounts. It is well the Garleans did not think to give it wings. Once Meridianum's defenses have been compromised, the operation will enter its fourth and final phase. Actually, has ever, has, has different people been talking? Because I've just been reading it in all in Alphino's voice. Whoops. This will see the immortal flames enter the stronghold and suppress the remnants of the uh, enemy garrison. Whoopsie. Allowing Victor's unit to pass unopposed into the Praetorium, where they will locate and destroy the Ultima weapon. Yay! By this feat shall the operation be deemed a success. Uh, let's not... Let's not break our eggs before they're in the pan. Is that a saying? Uh, well, there it is now. In addition to the grand companies, we can count upon the support of a variety of other parties. From the pirates of Limza Liminza to the monasteries of Uldar. In all, the operation will involve no fewer than 12 major factions. Legend holds that the Archons were twelve in one, and one in twelve. It is for this reason that our grand endeavor must be dubbed Operation Archon. Says who? Says you? Man, I got eggs on the mind. I am 
seriously considering cooking some eggs. Hold on. Am I? I'm gonna see if there's a way I can bring my camera and like stream the eggs. Maybe not. Maybe not, and that's okay. Uh, by the egg mount on Mog Station. I might take an egg break. Countless free companies have also pledged their swords, and more join us by the day. At long last, all of Eorzea is rising as one. What type? Poached? Scrambled? Uh, probably... over medium. As before, we Scions shall work in con uh, concert with the Grand Companies. Ida, Papalimo, Ishtola, pray accompany your respective organizations on their mission. Urianje, I would have you represent us in Ulda. Uh, reassure the f finan uh, financiers, finan financiers, financiers, that they have made a sound investment. What? When that is done, pray return thee and aid in the coordination of our forces. Tataru, please assist Urianje in any way you are able, and ensure that everyone is kept abreast of the latest developments. Yeah! Minfilia, Sid, and I shall accompany the main host in the advisory capacity. It will be our task to analyze intelligence as it comes to our possession and make the necessary recommendations to command. As Alphino mentioned, you are to lead the elite unit of adventurers whose task it will be to see, uh, see each of Operation Archon's main objectives fulfilled. Yours is the most important role of all and like to be most dangerous. Pray choose your party well and stint not in your preparation. Oh, uh, don't worry. I'll make sure that it is the utmost of best adventures. Together, let us show the Black Wolf the power of a united Eorzea. Yes. Pray report to the Immortal Flames, encampment situated to the north of here when you are ready to be briefed on your first mission. I cannot stress this enough, but please be careful. May you walk in the light of the crystal. You got it. A lot of prey returning. Okay. Operation Archon. I think I'm going to take a break. Uh, at the first instance of needing to join a duty, because then I can activate a party finder, and then people can join it. And then in the meantime, while people are joining, I'm gonna go, like, put things in... into, uh... What is it? My, uh... air fryer. Though I do not... I do not imagine air frying an egg would be a good idea, so I'm not gonna air fry the egg. I might just quickly fry it in a pan. I'm about to get one. Oh, is this Cape Westwind? Air fry an experiment. Hold on, let me see what a... Air fried egg. Air fried. Air fried egg. Um... Uh, air fryer. Hmm... You can air fry eggs? Will, will it not, like, get rid of all the moisture? Because one time, I air fried some hash browns, and they were... they were dry as cardboard, so... Hope you have the required macros. Oh, I hope so, too. I, oh, I don't have my markers saved. You're welcome, Victor Quibbles of the Scions. As communications officer, it falls to me to issue you your orders and provide guidance on forthcoming missions. Uh, 15 minutes? I don't want to cook an egg for 15 minutes. Eggs cook very fast. Depending on the timing, you'd miss your cue to join the duty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First mission is to infiltrate the Imperium outpost at Cape Westwind and eliminate, uh, Praefectus uh, Retaden Sas Arvina. All participating units are now in position awaiting your arrival. Please proceed to the staging point and report to Lieutenant, uh, Adelbert. Yep, yep. Here we go. 
Ooh, hello. Yes. Oh, <gasps> egg. Oh, thank you for this egg. Thank you. Thank you for the egg. Oh, oh my gosh, it's Bayonetta. <laughs> I love your games. I'm glad that the third one is coming. Also, fucking, did you guys see that Bayonetta 3 trailer? It was so awesome. Thank you. You are now, you will now be known as the Egg Queen. Thank you, Egg Queen. Amelia Luna Fre Freya, you are the Egg Queen. Nope. Egg Mom, yeah. So you're Victor Quibbles, the fearless adventurer who is to lead the assault. We've been expecting you. Our maelstrom friends report that R Retardan, Sas Avina, departs Castrum Ossidens Abelago. And sure enough, a convoy of Imperial airships landed here just now. The likelihood is high that our target was aboard one of the vessels. I've dispatched scouts to verify his presence before we strike. Oh yeah, that's right. We have how much time? Oh, we've got two minutes left. Uh, there's a cur there's currently a um, giveaway happening, a raffle for a the Wild Beyond the Witchlight D and D adventure book. It involves a uh, it is an adventure book campaign setting, whatever you want to call it, where you go to a, uh, what is it? A circus of some kind. There's lots of wacky creatures and circus minigames. Exclamation point raffle to get a ticket for your chance to win this giveaway, which I will be mailing it to you directly. You know what? I'll, I'll even sign it. I'll sign the book. I'll sign it and draw a little wiggler head. Command to all units. Requesting status report. Oh, this is a different guy. This is Ant Line 1. Target has not been sighted. This is Ant Line 2. Likewise, target has not been sighted. Ant Line 3 here. We got nothing for you, neither. Look at that mustache. This is Ant Line 4. Nothing to report as of. Wait, disregard previous message. Target sighted. I say again, target sighted. Understood. Hold your position. <laughs> Exclamation point waffle. <laughs> I gotta make a waffle command. Attention all the units. This is Lieutenant a a Adelbert Cotter. Hello. The first step of Operation Archon begins with us. Should we falter here, all hope of victory will be lost. Tis no small burden, but know that I believe in all of you. So believe in yourselves, and together we will blaze a path to our brothers and sisters, the Alliance of the Alliance to follow. All right. We are the false first Jenga pull. We will create multiple diversions and disperse the enemy garrison. That should give you, your people, a chance to breach their defenses. Go now, Victor, and bring us Retardin's head. May Ralga grant you strength. For Alamigo. Commence diversionary maneuvers. The waffle is now. Oh, the waffle's now over. Oh no. No, your time is now, waffle. Examine the gate. Oh yeah. Excuse me, excuse me, pardon me. I'm just gonna walk through here. Hope you don't mind. Ah, Cape Westwind. I remember you. This is, I remember, this is the first, I think when I played this like three years ago, this was my first instance of being gifted like 20 subs. Yeah, I remember I was sitting here I was sit. Hold on, let me find the clip. Hold on. I'm gonna find the clip real quick. Uh, Joe Cat, stream. Hi. Uh, I remember that. Yes, yes, yes. Play had not played for yeah, yeah, yeah. Here it is. 
This was back during Stormblood. Look, the TP bar is there. The TP bar still exists. All my hotkeys and uh, sets were removed and I had to remake them for some reason. 50! He gifted 50 subs! Holy shit! Wow. Man. Yeah, this was back when I didn't like the game yet. I was just skipping all the... All the dialogue and all the cutscenes. Man. Wow. This was a this was a time. Look at all those skills that don't exist anymore. Look, there's flash. There's a thing that only procced whenever your shield blocked. There's sword oath and shield oath. Uh, there's a thing that increased the potency of healing on you. Oh man. That was that increased block rate. Wow. AJ! Whoa! Um... AJ? Um... Yeah, man. That was time. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna do a party finder here. I'm gonna put on some music. And I'm gonna go get myself some food. Some proper food. Let's see. My channel. Oh, great, Joseph. Thank you for gifting 10 subs. Thank you. Yeah, cooking music. That's what I'll do. And, uh, let's see. I think I have a... Boop. There we go. Culinarian. There we go. I'm currently frying things. That's what I'll do. Now sit here. Uh, sit... Party finder. And recruit members. Oh, I gotta be in a proper thing. Whoops. Uh, dun no, dungeon trial, is it? Cape Westwind. There it is. Uh, yep. Objectives due to completion. Okay. And recruit. So, uh, let's see. Trial. There we go. It is in Party Finder. I am going to go get food. I'll be back in maybe like 10 minutes, perhaps. I'll just be hanging out here. All right, be right back, chat. Oh wait, I need to pick a winner. I need to pick a winner for the uh for the raffle. So sorry. Let's see. Um the raffle winner is ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Whoop. Mason P. Ham. Mason underscore P underscore ham. Are you in the chat, Mason? Mason? Mason! Mason P. Hamson, where are you? Speak up. You won the raffle. Mason! Mason! All right, I'm gonna be, uh, I'm gonna go cook. If Mason does not speak up, uh, and I have a tracker for chat that uh, will actually track if they say something in the chat. So, uh, don't worry, I won't miss it if they did. So, uh, if I come back and they didn't speak up, then I'll pick a different winner. Be right back. Egg!
Yeah, just checking in while my uh while my egg and chicken is cooking. Egg cooks pretty fast, so it should be done pretty soon. Uh, right now it's just kind of leaving it there. I'm gonna pick a different winner since Mason has not responded. So the new winner of the book is Uh, El Sauna. El Sauna, are you in the chat? Is there an El Sauna in the chat? Hello? El Sauna, you won. You must be attendant to receive your prize. Hey, there they are. Okay, awesome. Good, good, good. Uh, message me, whisper me your preferred shipping address. Uh, if it is not in the U.S., I will require a first and last name. I promise I will only use it to ship you your prize. But congratulations, I'm gonna go get my eggs now. I didn't show you guys the egg that I cooked. So, bear with me a bit. Let's see. Waiting room two, was it? Yeah, alright. Check out these eggs. Check them out. I'm gonna flip them over. They're a little bit more cooked on the other side. Nice little egg. And you want me to poach it? The yolk, the yolk is still liquidy. I'm gonna poach it, okay? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that egg yolk. Yeah, that's some egg. Okay, I need to go get some chicken. Be right back. Fried chicken and over medium eggs. Do you know Lahi? Is Lahi playing? Oh, it is. Eggs and Lahi. to the great scree.
No, nah, Elsona. Th this is the right one. Uh, whisper on Twitch. That's the right one. Play the better version? Oh, yeah. Okay, let me see. I'll play the superior Lahi. Here we go. Um, here. The superior Lahi. While I eat. Do you know Lahi? Chat, do you know Lahi? I will play Lahi. Music start! Answer, and this was the first thing he did. <laughs> oh my gosh. Also, I found a chance to harmonize with my own automaton. I hope you guys enjoyed La He, the superior version. And I must finish my egg. And just wiggle around to make sure that 14 doesn't kick me out. Soaking is amazing. That, what you just saw, for those who don't know the context, that was the lead composer of Final Fantasy XIV's soundtrack. Who had been hospitalized for cancer, survived, and decided to do that. <laughs> Is he composing 16? That's cool. beat cancer and decided to shit post.
All right, I'm gonna go put my plate away. Thank you for being patient with me, chat. Since I needed to consume egg. I like this song. I've never played Sonic Colors, but I really like this song. Dirty dishes on the counter? No, no, no. Dirty dishes left to soap in the sink. I do have a dishwasher, though. Yeah, I really like this song. I need to put Pepe D in my... I think that's good. Okay, back to the game. Okay, do we have ourselves a full party? We do. Okay, all right, everybody. All right, all right, team. Let's do this. Let us do this. I hope you guys are ready. There's a reason they call them trials. Oh, wait. Oh, I need to see the cutscene for the story. So sorry, here. Hold on, hold on. We need everybody to leave. We need to see the cutscene. We need to see the cutscene. I'm so sorry. We need the story. The story is important. The story is important. Yeah, everybody get out of here. Get out. We need to see. So sorry. Sorry about that. Oh, you look pretty. Oh, it's the egg person. Hold on, I must eat your eggs. Thank you. Egg. Everyone, eat egg. Consume egg so that you're ready for this fight. Okay, okay. So sorry. So sorry, everybody. There we go. Okay, we gotta see the build-up. Which strat am I gonna go? I don't know any strat for this. All right. Here we go. Cape Westwind. It would appear we have... It would appear we have unexpected guests. Now, where have I seen you before? Ah, uh, but of course, the man who felled the mighty titan. This is the Icon Slayer? Fuck that. I'm getting out of here. I see. The commotion without is naught but a diversion. Allow me to hazard a guess. By eliminating me, you hope to undermine the garrison at Ossidens. A bold strategy, to be sure, but have you the strength to see it to fruition? Leave us. None of you are a match for him. Send word to Castrum Ossidens. Tell them the Leminzans are coming. At once, my lord. He sounds like Patrick. Fifteen years have come and gone since Lord Van Balsar first set foot in Eorzea. Yet his ambitions for the realm burns as strong as he ever did. Now you, what fuels it, adventurer? The desire to deliver the people from their suffering. 
the land he has conquered he were all beset with problems. Poverty, starvation, lawlessness, and strife. My homeland was no exception. Had my lord not reached out and claimed it for the empire, it would have eventually have destroyed itself. But under his sage leadership, my people enjoyed peace and stability as we have never known. And he only desires the self same for people of his realm, this realm. Under his rule, Eorzea will be free of the shackles which bind it, the shackles of false faith. There would be no feeble leaders to misguide the masses, no icons to bleed the realm dry. True peace would reign, and the people would be free to live their lives without fear of persecution or oppression. Should you doubt the truth of my words, I bid you look upon me. I am no son of Garlemald, yet Lord Van Balsar saw fit to raise me to a station of great honor. He measures a man not by his birth, but by his worth. Such is his sense of justice. By the grace of his excellency, I am where I was born to be, upon the fields of battle. He has given me a noble cause to fight for, and worthy adversaries to smite. I am not one to bear my steel needlessly, but if you are deaf to reason, in the name of Lord Balsar, I, Ritaden, son Arnva, Ar Arvina, do swear to strike you down! Alright, I hope somebody has markers. Alright, who has markers? Okay, that's one, two, three, and four. Okay, good. I think that's where ads spawn. I am not quite sure. I don't think I remember. All right, I'm gonna need all my skills ready for this. Okay. A, B, C, and D. Okay, back there. That's, I assume, where he's gonna do a very special spread mechanic. But I think we can learn as we go along. He's gonna, he's going to shoot massive AoEs that will insta-kill you. I hope everyone is prepared. I need to, I'm sorry, I need to check item levels on these. Let's see, 77, I don't know. This red mage might hold us back. They're not in, they're not fully kitted out. Let's see, 80 gear, okay. 510, all right, that's okay. 510s, how are you doing? 520, ah, oh, even better. All right, all right, kitted out. Just checking the gear. Ooh, 130, we've got a level 50 Dragoon. Oof, I don't know. Do you think you can pull your weight, Rio? Do you think you'll be able to manage? Know your rotation? Ironworks gear is good. That is a good sign that you know somewhat of what you're doing. And also your your lilies is a good sign. Yeah? Yeah! 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 I believe in you. I believe in you. We've got a dancer. Good. Eric. All right. Yeah. Doesn't have dance par partner, but that's okay. And we have the Egg Mom herself. Our th okay, I think we're prepared. We have Egg Mom. We have a trio of cat boys. Wait, no. A quad of cat boys. Okay. I think we're alright. Okay, everybody ready. This is not going to be easy. Ready? Okay. Countdown. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right, everybody on! Get him! Watch yourselves, everyone. Keep the health topped off, or else he's gonna one-shot everybody. Okay, very good, very nice. Everyone, oh fuck, your positions. Shit, everyone get it, aw, 
All right, that's it. We're, we're wiped. We gotta wipe. I don't know. We could pull it out. Okay, there's the ads. Pull them off. Alvi. Yes, good, good, good. Nice pull, Dagmar. Very nice, grabbing those ads. Perfect, perfect. Yeah, everybody's doing a fantastic job. Oh, I don't know. Okay, he's shooting his missiles. It's okay, just a scratch. We're almost there. Woo! Oh, we did it. Oh, my God. Oh, I can't believe it. Oh. Woo. Ah. Uh, Woo. Uh. I can't believe it. Amazing. Oh. Forgive me. I have failed you. Lord Van Belsar! <laughs> Whew! All right, we did it. Oh, thank you guys so much. I don't think I would have been able to do that on my own. Oh, thank you, everybody. Thank you, everyone. I'm gonna take a little bit of a screenshot. Everyone pose, everyone. Get your, get, get your pose. Dick bag. <laughs> Dick bag, yeah. Oh, that's amazing. Good job, Dick bag. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> oh, thank you very much, everyone, for helping me with this very difficult trial. Oh, y'all are funny. Oh, G post shot. Oh, that's what we should have done. Ah, fuck. Sorry about that. That's fine. <laughs> Guess we're all dick bags. That light. <gasps> the Magitek transporter. Victor, are you there? What news of Britadden? Fallen? With this deed, you have sown the seeds of our ultimate victory. Nice. It was the egg. The egg helped us. The fading of that light, uh, oh, excuse me, presages an end to the Empire's tyranny. Retartan, son of Vina, is no more. Let us, let the next phase of Operation Archon commence. Hurrah! Tis I, it seems you've done it again, Victor. I'd raise a tanker to you, but I'm afraid we've no time to savor the victory. There's still the small matter of infiltrating Castrum Murdianum and destroying the Ultima weapon. I know, I know, no rest for the patern uh, preternaturally gifted. Now, stop feeling sorry for yourself and make your way back to the Immortal Flames encampment. The communications officer will issue you your orders. I'll be waiting for you with the main host. Oh boy. Man, I didn't realize, like, Cape Westwind and the two castrums are all, like, back-to-back, -back, aren't they? Oh. Look, Heidelin, your minion comes, bringing the light. Alas, the gate to the void already stands open. Soon darkness shall consume all, and you shall bow down before the one true god. <laughs> oh, that's fun. Oh, shit. Hmm. Man, that is a firm sheet of paper. The Prefectus slain. Re regrettably so, my lord. And at the hand of the Icon Slayer, in the Centurion who survived the attack is to believe. 
to be believed, sorry. Retartan. Where were his men when he faced the enemy, fleeing even as the commander yielded up his last breath? If it should prove they questioned his right... I cannot speak for them, my lord. Beg pardons, my lord, but there is more. The Maelstrom has laid siege to Castrum Ossidens. Likewise, the Crimson Fleet moves to blockade Castrum Marinum. Fuck! So this is their answer. Very well. We shall cross them as we cross the icons. Go forth and show them the futility of their resistance. Yes, my lord. Say the line, Gaius. Oh, no, not yet. It's not time yet. Okay. Thank you very much, everyone who helped out. Now get out! Okay. Here we go. Mission derp accomplished. I hope I can fly that high. Uh, yes. Oh, uh, whoops. I flew too high. Icarus! Oh, no. Perfect. Okay. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Scion Quibbles, your deeds this day are an inspiration to us all. With the death of the Perfectus, Operation Archon has entered its second phase. Even as we speak, the Maelstrom moves to blockade Castrum Ossidens and Castrum Marinum. And far to the east, in the Black Shroud, the Order of the Twin Adder advances upon Castrum Oriens. Already, you have done much to advance our cause, performing such feats as are worthy of song. But if our plan is to succeed, more is required of you. Let me know when your preparations are in order, and I shall relay to you the... Uh, particulars of your next mission. We're gonna go kill the tier 3 sub. <clears throat> Phase 2 of the operation is presently in motion. Our brothers and sisters of the Maelstrom are holding their own against Garlean forces upon Vilbrand at the Rotano Sea. Ere long, the third phase will begin and you must take the field once more. The Immortal Flames shall strike at Castrum Meridianum by way of a diversion, uh, diversionary maneuver. While the Garleans are thus locked in battle, you are to infiltrate the stronghold and bring down the Magitek field that surrounds the Praetorium. The staging point of the mission lies in the shadow of Castrum Meridianum in North Thanalan. This is where you must go. On your way there, however, I would ask that you speak, uh, make a brief stop at Camp Blue Fog, one of our key outposts in the area. The garrison, I am told, is in low spirits, and it would do our troops well to see the hero of Cape Westwind appear before them. For the good of our cause, please stoke the fire in their hearts. Here we go. I want to make a I want to speak to the manager cat mom. Oh yeah. And just make a Karen Mikote. M M Karen, if you would. M Karen. Hello. Ah, Master uh, Captain Quibbles, yours is most welcome present here at yours is a most welcome presence here at Camp Blue Frog. Logistically speaking, we are ready to march on Castor Meridianum at a moment's notice. Alas, while our troops are here in body, their minds are anywhere but. I know how to motivate them. The garrison's mood is dark, so daunting is the prospect, the prospect of joining what may prove to be the bloodiest battle in history. But with a hero such as you walking among them, we may yet rekindle the dwindling embers within their souls. A Karen, yeah. K apostrophe Aaron. There we go. Alright, need to motivate. Uh, Captain Quibbles, uh, we're not. Is, yeah, we gotta, we gotta increase their morale. We need to pump them up. Raubon! Rob on. Rob on.
Isn't that basically Philomen? <laughs> no, Philomen's wonderful. She would never Karen. Who's my favorite big man? Nice. Oh, wait, hold on. There we go. Yeah! <laughs> Reporting for duty, sir! General? Well, if it ain't, isn't the hero who brought down the Perfectus, it's good to have you with us, friend. As you can see, the mood about the camp here is grim at best. I was hoping that your presence alone might serve to raise spirits up. Unfortunately, it would seem that many are too preoccupied wallowing in fear and self-pity that they have yet to even notice that you have arrived. Might I ask you to make the rounds and share a few words of encouragement to those men and women whose spirit falters. I had a mind to do it myself, but I'm quite certain it would carry more weight coming from you. Once you have seen to the others, go and do the same for Edelstein. No matter what he may claim, the lieutenant would also be better for a bit of rousing. Trust me, I know. I know precisely the way. Every good army needs a nice dance routine, right? Hello. Yes. No. <laughs> it should be honor to meet a hero, but I just don't have the will to care. Aw. Come on. What about, um... What about gold dance? Yeah? Aw. Okay. Okay. Yes. You can do it! Your stirring gesticulations has reawakened me to my purpose. Uh, hero or no, I will fight tooth and nail to protect the realm. See? Maybe they need a little bit of motivating. Hello. Yeah, I break my fast on Garleans, and right now I'm very hungry. All right. Oh, he was fasting, okay. Hello, you look a little down. Ugh, the Garleans are not near as frightening as you. I'd sooner face a vanguard while naked as my name day. Wait, what is that? What's that supposed to mean? Do I? Do I? Do I not look good in a bunny suit? <laughs> now I have a new insecurity. <laughs> oh man, and I thought I looked all right. Uh, uh, Chad, Ch uh, Chad, I don't, I don't look bad in 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 a bunny suit, right? Have I, have I, uh, have I put on weight? I mean, it, it's it's not bad weight, right? Like, it, 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 I mean, it's it's gone to my hips a little bit, but I mean, I look good. Okay, Whew. all right. I got a little worried. Maybe. Okay, Whew. all right. Listen, I mean, like, I. <laughs> I perform at the gold sauces sometimes, and, and sometimes maybe I, I have a few extra donuts than I need to, okay? Listen, I mean, shoot me, right? Like, I, sometimes I just want to treat myself. You soak my fighting spirit as you did our recruits. <laughs> uh, kind offer, but, I har uh, but hardly necessary, I assure you. The fire in my heart rages as strongly as it ever has. Um, oh, I need to psych him up, okay. It was one too many eggs. Oh. By Rolger, without my realizing it, the fire of my resolve has grown dim. But thanks to you, it burns red hot once more. If needs be, I shall lay down my life to secure victory for Eorzea. Nice. Wow. Wait a minute. This is... This is the end of ARR. 
of base ARR. Really? That fast? Uh, yeah, wow. Because Praetorium is right after Castrum. Wow, that's so fast. Maybe it's because I'm enjoying myself now. You have rekindled the flames of courage that burn bright within the men and women's hearts, and for this I thank you. And now the time for battle is nigh. We must march forth with no worries or regrets. General Rauban awaits you at Castor Meridianum. The battle will not be an easy one, but I trust that you are up to the task. Godspeed, Captain Quibbles. Yeah. I, I need to do pra Praetorium. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, of course. Praetorium itself is long, but, uh, wow. The two worst dungeons in the game. I would actually like more eight-man dungeons. That would be cool. I would like more eight-man dungeons in the style of the four-man dungeons, but, of course, you know, just larger and more enemies. Um, just not have it mandatory cutscenes, you know? That would be cool. Uh, and that was originally what the small raids were, th the normal w raids were supposed to be, but people, you know, they realized people only wanted the boss fights. Yeah. Eight-man dungeons are cool, but not the way they did it for this. Yes, agreed. Our hero returns. I trust that your visit has done much to lift the spirits of our garrison on the eve of our greatest battle yet. <clears throat> Time is of the essence. Let us commence the briefing at once. Such expert wit. Such exposition. This was not my intention. Yeah, can I pair up with her, the, the, the femro behind me? No? Okay. Brothers and sisters of the Alliance, I would share with you glad tidings. Doubtless spurred on by the news of the Siege of Castrum Orients, the Maelstrom has struck a double blow. Castrum Ossidens and Castrum Marinium, Marinum are now under blockade. Phase two of Operation Archon is a success. Yeah. Report tells us that the Galleons offered fierce resistance, but that the admirable the admiral yielded them not one ill. Merlewood, I love you. With Ossidens, Marinum, and Orions thus suppressed, the third phase may begin in earnest. Even as we speak, the Order of the Twin Adder moves the blockade, uh, moves to block the railway leading hither from Castrum Os uh, Sentry. And that can mean but one thing. The hour has come to strike at the heart of the Garlean invading invasion force. Castrum Meridianum, the den of the Black Wolf. My fellow Eorzeans, I am Minfilia, mistress of the signs of the Seventh Dawn. There exists myriad barriers that divide us, those of race and nation, language and creed, to name but a few. Such barriers serve to isolate us from our neighbors, yet they also serve to define us who we are. Shown, shorn of them, there would be little to distinguish one from another, and the rich variety of our lives would give way to sterile orthodoxy. These barriers can never truly be broken down, of course. Not so long as there is liberty in the world, but they can be transcended. Verily, we do so now in coming together for this grand endeavor to fight side by side in defense of our shared home. Before me stands the adventurer Victor Quibbles, you all know him as the man who led the unit tasked with destroying the Ultima Weapon. We Scions know a different victor, however. We know him as a dear friend who has endured untold hardships on our behalf. A true hero who has ever blazed a path for us to follow. 
And why do I tell you this? I tell you, friends, because it is time for us to blaze a path for him. Oh, thanks. Our objective is to wreak such havoc outside the walls of Meridianum as to afford Victor and his comrades the time they need to destable the Magitek field generator within. With the path thus cleared, we may finally turn our minds to the true goal of this operation, the destruction of the Ultima Weapon. Our troops, prepare for battle! I fear I can't accompany you this time. The un unenviable task of facilitating communications between our forces has been entrusted to the ironworks, you see. Now, though, that I will be praying for your safe return. See that you come back to us, my friend. May the crystal bless you and keep you. Got it. I'll be fine. We will suffer the Black Wolf to prowl our lands no more. Let us teach the hunter what it is to be hunted. Forward, comrades! For Eorzea! Go now, Victor, and bring us one step closer to the dawn. God, that looks so cool. Hell yeah. Okie dokie. Time to party finder yet again. All right. Castrum Meridianum. Dungeon. Doop -a -doop -doo. There it is. Okay. Join on in, everybody. Let's see. What can I do? What can I do? What can I do? The only one for me is you. What can I do? Uh, that sure should be good. I'll message you if I need anything else. All right, awesome. Wow, that filled up fast. Okay, everybody ready? Too slow? Ah, oh, sorry. Ooh, hello, fellow paladin. Hello. All right, here we go. Whoop. Time for story. did a good job of contrasting the like natural look of Eorzea compared to the uh, metallic cold hard steel of Garlemald. Time for ne Netflix roulette. Ah, uh, yeah, this is net. This is Netflix roulette, and then the next one is like Lord of the Rings marathon roulette. All right, here we go. Hello. Grab everything. Grab everything. Everyone! Invuln. Ain't gonna hurt me. Yeah, you ain't doing nothing. I still remember playing this, like, a long time ago, when I still didn't like the game. Oh, there's a new bean in my party. Oh, neat. I got a sprout. Okay. It's a little cinematic moment. gonna draw them all. Pull them all. Every single one of them. Oop. 
You know, what I would do is I would duty finder, like the, uh, the duty roulette, but it's between this one and Praetorium, so I can't guarantee which one I'll get. Because that would be nice to get some tomes. They need to get gear for my Dragoon. It's like, oh boy, we gotta fight a Magitek armor, holy shit! At least there are some tones for doing this. Yeah, true. To avoid doing this, it's good XP. That's really all it's good for, really. Uh, is doing duty finder, duty roulette for main story quests and getting uh, Praetorium is a lot of XP. It's like a whole level. Yeah, I'm not even gonna worry about the ads. We're just gonna. Did you provoke? How dare you! <laughs> How dare you provoke! If I didn't know better, I'd swear you had a personal grudge against Magitek armor. Sid, I didn't think you'd be here. You said that you would be wouldn't be here. What can I say? I couldn't bear to let you have all the fun. Don't worry, Biggs and Wedge have everything in hand. Truth be told, I think they like having the work of three men. Wedge wasn't exactly pleased to be left behind, though, and made quite sure I knew it. I must say, our recent struggles have done wonders for the lad's spirit. Given the size of this place, I suspect there'd be an armor or three to be had, and here we are. Hmm, not as bad as I thought. If I have half Marquis' talent for mending things, I should be able to get it working again. Listen, Victor, we intercepted an Imperial communication indicating that the Ultima weapon is indeed being housed within the Praetorium. We also learned that the field which protects the compound is powered by no fewer than three generator towers. If you are to deactivate the field, you'll need a location to locate and disable them all. And I'm here to help you do just that. See that chute? It leads to a waste disposal. Somewhere nearby, there will be a cerulean facility supplying fuel to the closest of the three towers. Throw yourself in there, like all the other trash that you deserve to be with. <laughs> Go on ahead, Victor. I'll be with you as, as soon as I finish my repairs. All right. Rude. Go into the garbage chute. This is where everyone with bad taste in waifus goes. Hello. Oh yeah, hydrate. I'm gonna hydrate during the dungeon. <laughs> Actually, no. It's also where all the trash white foods go. So you tend to find. Ah uh... oh, shit! I can't say anybody because every every person is gonna make someone mad. I'm the trash man. Pick up trash. Oh, search terminal. Oh, are we gonna do this stealthy? Are we gonna do this the right way? Are we actually gonna do it proper? Are we? Did we go off if I grab this guy? No, okay. Yeah, let's actually try. I wonder, yeah, how is it when we actually do avoid the spotlights? Is it just things don't follow us? Yeah, I guess so.
mentioning a waifu like the boss at the end of this dungeon. <laughs> yeah, there we go. I'm advocating a high quality waifu. Also, the only waifus that belong in the trash are the ones that are an active detriment to your life. I don't know, some people are into that. Unless you're talking about abusive ones. Yes, we do not we do not take abusive waifus in this household. We respect the safe word in this house. poison on me. Wait, did we grab those? Yes, we did. Awesome. Destroy the field generator. <laughs> I'll have whatever abusive waifu I want. Yeah, I guess if you're into that, there's no... Get you a waifu that will respect your safe word. That's what I say. Killed a few of you. Alright. We We've got a, quite a few sprouts in here. Yeah, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. We have to kill the ads here. Well, I hope not. I'm not bothering. And nope. <laughs> no need to worry about ads. Ads are for web pages. Hey! That is not Maggie. There you are. I didn't have the patience to take you a long way around. I see you've disabled the first generator. That leaves us with two. Hell yeah, Trivia Ninja's eating eggs. Ah, oh, bugger. That was me, wasn't it? Well, there's nothing for it but to press on. We must see the remaining generators before the enemy has a chance to regroup. Damn it, Sid, we were all stealthy before you. You go on ahead, Victor. All right, this reminds me, sometimes I'll have like idle chatter with the party when I am doing uh, duty roulette. Sid, himbo or no himbo? I know, I know he's intelligent, but is he smart? That is the question. Too smart to be himbo? Well, here's the thing, right? Totally himbo, not himbo. Survive. Poll time! Poll! We'll do a poll. New poll. Sid is... a himbo. Not a himbo. Uh... Content does not meet guidelines. Can I not put himbo in... in Oh, can I not put him though? Hold on. I'll do it. I'll do it during the next cutscene. I hope himbo is not a censored word. I just do him. That's what I'll do. Okay, uh... Himbo, not a himbo. 
There we go. Okay. Sid, himbo, yes or no? Vote, chat. Vote. After the whole simp thing, yeah. Ooh, it's neck and neck. And I don't, I don't mean that to just be memes, like, haha, himbo, this, himbo, that. Like, genuinely. Like, he's smart enough to build mechanical stuff, but I believe he can still be dumb in many situations. That, that is my, that is my explanation. But I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm still wrong. Let me turn this down a bit. Himbo has being dumb as a condition. Yeah, yeah, I understand that. But I think Sid is dumb in different ways. But it seems majority of chat seems to say nah. Which is fair. This is fair. Hildebrand is ultimate himbo? Wrong. Hildebrand is a gentleman, not a himbo. Hildebrand is smart as shit. Estinian? Mm, maybe. Well, Estinian's not nice. <laughs> you have to be nice to be a himbo. Nero, Nero is not a himbo. N Nero is girl boss. Nobody will ever out himbo Kronk. Yeah, it's like how much like Kronk are they? Okay, okay. You know what? Yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. You've you've convinced me, chat. Sid is not a himbo. All right, all right, you got me there. Yeah, Kronk, Kronk is the proto himbo. He is the himbo of which all other himbos are compared to. He is the premier 100% pure himbo. Calamity is caused by arguing over who is a himbo. Yeah, there we go. Raubon, himbo or no himbo? No, no, no. Raubon's a little too rough to be himbo. He's rough and aggressive. He can be nice, but a lot of the time I think he's he's pretty hard. But that doesn't mean mean. He's not mean, but. I think Raubon is a jock. Yeah, also smart with tactics. Yeah, there we go. Do himbos lack wisdom or intelligence? Both. Actually, they lack intelligence, but not wisdom. I would say Kronk is very wise. Or rather, they have the potential to be wise, but they don't have to be. It derives, because himbo derives from the term bimbo. So think of a bimbo, make it male and muscular and nice. Nice shot, Sid. There it is. That's the first one down. Runar? You know what? Yeah, I'd say Runar is absolutely himbo. Damn it, there goes the core. I fear I may have overestimated its maximum operating capacity. By a few orders of Megatune, I'm Blade Marquis. Yeah. We'll need to find another way to bring down the... Well, well, the traitor himself and his meddlesome friend for company. Why doesn't she just shoot us? Alright. 
Grahatia's himbo? No. Grahatia is... You go ahead, Victor. I need to get to the bottom of something. Grahatia is himbim. Grahatia is not big and strong. You need to be strong to be a himbo. Here are the three qualifications that you must have to be a himbo. Strong, kind, dumb. Graha is smart, he is kind, uh, and he is not strong. They did a overly sarcastic did a himbo tier list. I want to see that. I want to see that. Graha's smart as shit. Oh yeah, Graha's very intelligent. He's baby. He is baby, but he is smart. Is he naive? I'm, uh, I guess a little bit. I'm trying to say things without spoilers. It's hard to say anything without spoilers. But yes, Graha is not a himbo, he's a himbim. Himbim is the male version of bimbo. Because himbo is the strong, kind one. Um, but Himbim is kind of like, a. Uh, actually, you guys are weebs, you probably know of the term, uh, Bishonen. It's kind of like Bishonen. Uh, whereas... The female version of Himbo is Herbo. That is a big, strong, dumb, but kind lady. Am I saying Graha is not kind? He is! That's just not a qualification of Himbim, though. A Himbim can be kind, but it doesn't have to be. It's me, are you alright? That's an assault craft you're up against. You don't stand a chance with conventional weapons. You're going to need something big to bring it down. A mortar, a cannon, anything. Hold on, Victor, I'm on my way. Yeah, Ida, Ida is a, is a herbo. She's strong, she's dumb, and she's very pleasant to be around. Is himbo derived from bimbo? Yes, but it means different things. Like, it has, cause words have meanings beyond their original nomenclature. They, words have meanings based on how we use them. And uh, how we use bimbo is different from how we use himbo. Even uh, for opposite genders. Go. Oh god. I'll admit, I think a few times when I was getting back into this game, when I did this, I uh, pulled all the Centurions. Or the Colossi, or whatever they're called. Whoa! Fools! If you are resolved to die here, you might at least have done so without first making a mess of the place. Oh. I see that Garland is not with you, more's the pity. I had hoped to slay him myself, but never mind the traitor for now. I have so looked forward to this meeting, Victor Quibbles. Yes, I know much and more about you, about your strength and your hidden talents. I would sample them firsthand, and you will indulge me. Okay. Waste of a good lesbian. <laughs> yeah, a lot of the- I'm noticing a lot of these characters don't really get a lot of time to develop, do they? It's very bare bones development compared to the other expansions. Uh, somebody said that, uh... Bimbos don't have to be nice. And it's also really an insult. Yeah, I think people are trying to take back the term, though. To, like, just be descriptive. Um, bimbos do not have to be nice, but they can be. Being nice does not disqualify the bimboness. Same with himbim. You know? I would consider Grahatia a himbim, but he is nice. He is one that happens to be nice. Yes, very intelligent character analysis stream. So this boss is interesting. It's kind of like a non-conventional, where you keep the boss and I'm only doing like single digit damage and you gotta use cannons to uh, blow her up. There we 
aim the cannon. Oh, somebody else is doing it. And then whenever you blast the cannon, you gain aggro. Copper Bell Mines Part 2, yeah, definitely. Take that. I like this music, though. I never really paid attention to the music on this part. And kablammo! There we go. And then now she's grabbed onto me. Right to the middle. I wonder how much health she has, and if I unsynced it, I will be able to kill her in time. Because if you remember that slime in the Copper Bell Mines, it had, like, as much health as, like, a level 80 mob. Is Thancred a himbo? Yes. Maybe? I don't know. He's a... Uh, he's definitely a... Um... Hold on, I'll wait. My lord was quite taken with you and your power you possess. The Echo. Naturally, I could not help but wonder whom this prince among men might be. Oh, <gasps> she called me a prince. Only to discover that you are not... are but another adventurer. No better than the multitude. Yet in spite of this, the masses hold you in their ch as their champion and shower honors upon your head. It defies all reason. How is it that you could be such a thorn in our side? Wherever you appear, you wreak havoc in your wake. You even slew Ritartin, one of our very finest. Well, I will not speculate. Truth be told, I couldn't care less how you have done these things. What matters to me is the fact that you have done them. If you are allowed to continue, you will eventually deprive me of all that I have toiled for. All that is mine by right. My minions, my comrades. You cannot have him. I, I don't want him. His dreams and ambitions, his body and soul, they are mine, do you hear me? All mine! I lost everything once before. I will not suffer it to happen again. Uh, I think you're... I will kill you, adventurer. Only your death can bring me peace. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, boy. We found his tier 3 sub. Anyway, uh, Thancred is a, uh... What is it? I forget. He is... Um... Twonk! That's what he is! He's a twonk! He's a hunky twink. That's what he is. Dilf? Oh, he is absolutely Dilf. He raised two kids? Yeah, there we go. He is a dilf. Because uh, he has a very... Well, that's spoilers. I almost did spoilers there. Careful for spoilers, everybody. Careful for spoilers. All right. Whoops. No, it's happening all over again. Please, I cannot bear it. Don't take him away from me. My Lord Gaius. Another poor fool who craved Gaius's affection over all else. No soul, no rest. Tis a miracle no harm has come to you, my friend. One for which I will happily give thanks. And the wonders do not end there. Truthfully, ha now, did you really mean to send the assault craft crashing into the generator tower? If you did, you are a bloody liar. If you didn't, well, you're too modest. Whichever you are, 
You've managed to open the way to the Praetorium. The only problem is, we can't reach it on foot. Nay, we'll need to take the Enterprise. I left her at the Castrum Processing Plant, so let's regroup there. Cerulean Processing Plant. This is it, Victor. The final confrontation awaits. You know, as much as I complain about the padding and pacing of ARR, this final part feels kind of fast. Like, too fast. I feel like the Empire might have needed a bit more build-up. And Gaius' plan and all that. But I don't know. But yeah, thank you, everyone. Thank you. Alve. Zeke. Oh my gosh, it's Zeke Wakfu from the famous show Wakfu. Uh, Spisa. Kiaran. Solus. Luna. And Willybald. Thank you all very much for joining in. Uh, wanna take a G pose? Yeah, we're gonna go this way. I'm gonna pose right here because. We'll pose for this camera. Because uh, I think this scene is better backdrop. They could have had the Rattadan fight around level 35-ish. Maybe. Yeah. Dance. <laughs> Step dance to assert dominance. Alright, do your poses. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Join us. Join us in the step dance. Come on. Come on, you two. You three. If you have it, that is. If you don't have step dance, that's fine. Come on. Yeah, okay. All right. Kieran. Come on, Karen. You know, you know you wanna. Don't have step dance. Ah, boo. Spicer. Ah, boo. Boo. All right, that's fine. Let's see. Uh, minions, NPC, pet. There we go. Here we are. The heroes of Castrum. Heroes of Castrum Meridianum. Fortnite dancing on the grave. It's okay. I still... I still respect you. Good, good. Alright. Thanks, all. Ruck Doug, thank you for the th four months. Uh, Subversary. Oh wow, I'm gonna have a lot of vod to go through. Yeah, a little bit. This one's this one's going a bit long. I hope that's okay. I knew you wouldn't let us down, soldier. With the Praetorium stripped of its defenses, the way to the Ultima Weapon lies open. The time has come for the final phase of Operation Archon. Okay. I assume. Do you? Do y'all wanna stick around for prey? Oh, here we go. For the final phase of the operation, my flames will storm Castrum Meridianum and suppress what is left of the Imperial gar Garrison. If all goes well, this will allow you to reach the Praetorian unopposed, fit and ready for your new en for your encounter with the Ultima Weapon. Yours is the most dangerous mission of all, but the best must bear the heaviest burden, and you're the best we have. There is no, there is not another soul in this realm that could see this deed done, and Mervib and Kane are of the same mind as mine, as me. Though all hangs on your success, you must not let our plight make you desperate. Victory belongs to the bold, not the reckless. Bards are wont to sing of heroes who vaulted their life and not next to 
next to honor, love, and liberty. But I tell you now, that which men value at naught, they sell cheap. Risk no more than you must, you hear me? Now, best you were off. We have work to do, the both of us. See that your preparations are in order, then report to Sid. We await you with the Enterprise at the Ceruleum Processing Plant. May Ralga grant you strength. Yeah! On the way. Also, one thing that I want to do towards the end of ARR, before Heavensward, I want to do a glamour contest of original, original glamours, totally original, uh, no Mog Station. It's not gonna happen today. I think it, I think we'll do it next week to celebrate ending ARR once again. We're gonna have a glamour contest where you have to have original glamour. However, the limit is level 50. Another? Oh, no, I didn't do another, sorry. Uh... I've never done a glamour contest before, but your your gear has to be level 50 or lower, no mock station items, and no more than two items can be of the same set. If you have like two items of the same set and then another two items from the same different set, then that's okay. But yeah, I think I might get, grab a few friends to be judges for that as well. The Enterprise is at your disposal. When you're ready to head for the Praetorium, you need only say the word. If we succeed in destroying the Ultima Weapon, it will deal a crippling blow to the Emperor's hope of conquest. After that, the 14 Legion will not dare to move against us, barring the discovery of further Allegan Doomsday devices, that is. Let's be on our way, Victor. Gaius and his plaything await. All right, here we go. I'm gonna make an official announcement on YouTube and on Twitter and everything uh, before I do that, though. But yeah, next week, Glamour Contest. Let's see. Uh, Praetorium. Here we go. All right, get your popcorn ready. Gaius is gonna say the line. Uh, will this be via screenshot or live in-game? In-game! It's gonna be in-game, live. I forgot how good this music slaps. So here we are. The Ultima weapon will almost certainly be housed in the depths of the complex. Alright, bye bye. <laughs> oh hey, I've seen this one. What do you mean seen this one? This is the first time it's been shown. This is it, my friend. Okay. Yep, remember to stay hydrated. Dude, I'm gonna get so many tombstones. I might max out my tombstones, actually. Maybe, I don't know. Oh, eat egg! Eat egg, eat egg! Yes, egg! Yes, egg. I'm ready. I'm gonna map it. I'm gonna map it to control three. All right, here we go. All right, I am going to make the sacrifice. Uh, I'm drawing aggro so you can go. Everyone, go, go, go. In, in, in. In the button. No? <gasps> you guys are staying behind for me? Aw. Wow. A prey group that actually kills the creatures, the, the baddies, and not just skip everything. Oh. Egg. 
Alright. You stayed behind. You came back for me. I'm excited for when data center server hopping is live. Yeah, apparently that's not going to be when Endwalker comes. It's going to be after. It's going to be one of the post-patch quests. Which uh, is unfortunate, but, you know, what are we going to do? Such is things. Uh, okay. I think this is the one where we can move fast. Fast. Jeez, this place is falling apart. Is the Enterprise doing that? If so, good support. Yeah, all right. If you guys want, you can go in. I'll hold them off. Oh, wow. Hey, a prey group that actually kills the bad guys. Who would have thunk? If you don't know how this usually works whenever you get duty roulette on this, is is one person draw tries to draw the aggro, usually one of the tanks, and uh, everybody else just goes in the teleporter while the tank tries to go through. Because when you try and activate the teleporter, uh, and if you get damage, it cancels out, and it, it kicks you out of the menu. Um, now you need to be really fast. It can be done, but <laughs> pray genocide run. Hell yeah. <laughs> the tank clicks a zillion time until it works, yeah. Yeah, they have death lines, apparently. Gaius! Such de- Oh, it's not my time yet. Sid, my boy, you're late. There is something I always meant to tell you, yet the time never seemed right. It concerns your father. What of him? In the winters of his years, Midas came to abhor his part in Meteor. He told me that he wanted nothing more than to wash his hands of the whole sordid business. But he did not wash his hands of it. He helmed the project until the day it killed him. Come now, Sid. You must know that he did not have the luxury of choice. By the time he realized his error, it was too late. Meteor had him completely in thrall. Shortly before his transformation, Mayhap sensing that something was amiss, your father confided to me all his regrets in his life. Most of him concerned you. Early on in your career, he realized that while you had talent for devising armaments, it would never fulfill you. Long before he knew your own, your own mind, uh, uh, knowledge for peaceful purpose, and thought he touched him, uh, he, changed, he was a changed man for it. Though he could not let it show. I can't read that fast. You blew up holes in this place just so you could say this to me. What is it you want, Gaius? I want you at my side, Sid. Take up your father's mantle and become the Empire's lead engineer. My father had a change of heart. So said you said so yourself. Besides, I have long known my destiny, and I assure you, it lies not with the Empire. A pity! And what of you, adventurer? Will you not consider making common peace? With your power joined to mine, we might do much for this realm. Together, we could bring order to Eorzea and usher in everlasting peace. No, and I can expect no better answer than this, so be it. It was your strength that made me proffer my hand in friendship, and it is your strength that makes me proffer now my blade. Save as an ally, you are too dangerous to be left to remain. All right, and Gaius is just going to sit and watch, is he? Nope. Run, Sid, or stay. It makes no matter. I couldn't read that whole thing. I was trying to be dramatic. Gaius, wait! Damn it! 
Yeah, he really is Darth Vader, and this is like Luke Skywalker. <laughs> All right, here we go. You are still in cutscene, assume loading. And there we go. Oh. Why am I never allowed to say yes to the villain? <laughs> I think, isn't there some game? I, I was trying to remember. I was talking about this with uh, Dipper a while back. There, isn't there an RPG that, like, had a satirical, like, fourth wall breaking line that were like, please, adventure, will you, will you please go on this mission to save the world? And then you say no, and they're like, fucking, then why did you, why did you buy this game? <laughs> isn't there a game like that? I, I don't know. I could be remembering wrong. Pickle Mario has two of those. Oh yeah, it just goes to game over, yeah. Knowing guys, he is headed for the ultimate weapon. If we find him, so too will we find our inquiry. With these instruments, we can monitor every nook and cranny of the castrum. I think it's time we divided our forces. Pray go on and give chase. I'll track your movements from here and guide you through the complex. <gasps> we'll stay in contact via Link Pearl. Be careful, all right? Hey! Dice Queen D and Coda uh, Constellation. Oh, jeez, excuse me. Thank you for the raid. We're nearing the end of base ARR. Now, I have played this before, but I'm doing New Game Plus so I can re-get a lot of the story. And I'm playing with some wonderful people. I'm playing with viewers. Come on, Zeke. Come on, you cat boy. We're nearing the end. We're in the final dungeon. You came at a good point. You came at, got a, at a good place. However, this might be spoilers, depending on how much you care about the story. Hi, hi, D. I, I don't remember. Did you say that you were going to play 14 or no? I, I can't remember. There are so many friends of mine that are like, I'm going to pick up 14. I'm like, yes, another. That's another player for the Republic. Wanted to raid? Yeah, hell yeah, 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 yeah. Awesome possum. Okay, cool. I'll be sure to bug you. Do I have you added on Discord or something? I don't know. I'll have to see, we'll figure it out. You're on Twitter, I can find you on Twitter. It'll be a single glam set per person. Yes, I'm also doing a glamor contest next week. Uh, the, the, the rules are for those of you who want to join, Glamour Contest next week, um, at some point. Rules are, level 50 or below, um, no Mog Station. Only two items from the same set maximum. No more than that. Those are the rules. Yes, yes, yes. Alright, make sure to grab your key, everybody. Remember to grab your key. Don't want to stay down here and not have your Magitek armor. Oh, wait, this is where... Oh, that's clever. Okay, so earlier in the story, uh, Maggie, which is... Uh, oh, Zeke's mouse is broken. Uh-oh. You can do it. Come on, I believe in you, Zeke. Uh, use zero on... Num pad. Use the zero on the numpad and then use the numpad keys to uh, navigate the menu. You can do it. I believe in you. Yeah, there we go. Hey, you did it. Nice. Okay. Their mouse was malfunctioning, it seemed like. Okay, egg time. Uh, I would recommend including a clause for level one items that can't be unlocked. Okay, so, uh, yes, no, nothing that, okay, I'll be more specific. Only gear that can be obtained before Heaven's Word. There we go. Only gear that can be obtained before Heaven's Word. Release an ARR, yes. It's Maggie! Look, they confiscated her, and here she is.
holiday gear. Yeah, it, as long as if it was from an event, that's fine. Ah, oh, there she is. I'll be. I'll give more specifics on the rules in a in a post. I trust you recognize our old friend Maggie. Yeah, Maggie was it. They had to ship her from uh, Sentry. Sen, Sentry. It's a wonder she's still operational. The poor old girl. Now that you, you're suitably armed, you can blast open that bulkhead. The external walkway will take you back here. There. Oh, Maggie. The body of a mecha killing machine and the heart of a toy. All right, here we go. I think uh, I'm gonna go with Bracky's rule. Bracky made a rule that if it is, if it was a an event item that is now in the mod station, unfortunately we have to disqualify it because we can't know if it was bought from Mog Station or not, you know? Um, mammoths are not toys. You're right, but I think toy sounds funny. So, unfortunately, if it's from an event quest um, and is not in Mog Station yet, that's totally fine. Uh, but if it previously was an event quest but is now in Mog Station, as most of them tend to be, unfortunately, that will disqualify. Um, now, we won't be, or rather I, me and the judges, I'll have some judges with us, with me. Um, we will not be disqualifying anyone who can easy, quickly swap them out, if we notice. We'll let you know if there is a Mog Station item. And uh, if you just quickly swap it out, it's fine. I know somebody had, like, a glove that was very not noticeable, or like a bracelet, but it wasn't, like, important to the whole piece. Ooh, Proto Ultima arm. Jeez, that's actually kind of freaky. It's his arms just kind of, like, freaking out like that. Um, weapons, I assume, may be an exception on level ranges due to Shadowbringer jobs starting above 50. Uh, yes? So, that may mean, yeah, so things like Dancer and, like, all of them probably won't, yeah, be available. Hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay with limiting that, because we're, I, I'm planning on doing multiple, multiple different glamour contests, and I want to see what people can do with limited, you know, limited glams. I want to see what you guys are capable of. That's why the limitation is there in the first place, right? I want to see what you can do. Can you wear CE Gunbreaker gun? CE Gunbreaker gun. Oh, um... From, uh... The bulkhead is composed by a special alloy. What is CE? No, yeah, the guns do 3,000. Collector's Edition? Mm. I think Gunbreaker starts at 60. Is a Final Fantasy XIV outfit on the Mog Station. What? Got Gunblade with the CE of Shadowbringers. Yeah, no, no Gunbreaker weapon is below 60, so Gunbreaker and Dancer are unfortunately not qualified. So you'll have to wait until my Heaven's Word Glamour Contest for that. The simple... The simple way to know... Oh, no, Maggie. The simple way to answer any questions is... Is it on Mog Station? If yes, you cannot use it. If no, then it's fine. That includes veteran rewards. Veteran rewards are fine. Because, uh... I think pretty sure everyone can get them. You just need playtime. Okay. Oh, we didn't charge uh, Limit Break enough. So, fun thing, you can actually Limit Break the boss here before the encounter starts. 
so might as well do that. I think you need to be some kind of range. You can't be melee. So, magic and range DPS. You have been leaving a fine mess in your wake, adventurer. Bitch! Is someone there? Uh, it's your ex. Garland, old friend. How it warms the heart to hear your voice again after all these years. Nero, is that you? You sound well. It would seem this savage land agrees with you. The highest ranking tribunus of the 14th. It was you all this time. Tell me, Garland, how long do you intend to keep all the glory for yourself? Uh, what? You've lost me. Don't play a fool with me. Ever since the Academy, I've been condemned to live in your shadow. But all objective measure, I was the more talented of the two of us, yet that fact counted for naught beside your privileged birth. You were admired as the young prodigy simply because your father was the great Midas Can Garland. Nan Garland. When you defected, I felt sure that it was my time. But by disappearing, you acquired the status of a legend. You reputed genius gains credence merely by dint of your absence. Instead of cursing you for your traitor, the people actually came to think of you more fondly. To this day, you are still the young prodigy of Magitech. I, I, meanwhile, have been made to feel second rate. I, who have continued to serve our nation faithfully while I fail to excel. Why, it is only to be expected. Yet I exceed all reasonable expectation. People proclaim that I walk in the footsteps of the great Sid Nan Bloody Garland. Damn jealousy much. Nero, I, I don't know what to say. Say it's not your fault. <laughs> it matters not a whit what I achieve. Your existence has rendered mine worthless. Even Lord Balsar saw fit to offer you a place at his side. And this in spite of your betrayal. Did he extend any such offer to me, the man who has remained loyal to him for all these years? Why, no, he did not. Long have I endured this injustice, but no more. Lord Van Balsar is in the midst of activating the fully powered Ultima weapon. It is my Magnus, uh, Magnum Opus, the creation that will win me the recognition I am due. I will not let anyone... I didn't read the last word. Nero, what are you... Oh shit, cut him off. Ever since I first set foot in this benign land, I've watched you. Every move you have made, every step you have taken. You have failed icons, a feat made possible by the Echo, a peculiar power which shields you from their corrupting influence. It is of little wonder that my lord has taken an interest in you. As have I, if truth be told, it is my desire to harness your power for use in this Ultima weapon. Oh shit! Should I succeed, Lord Van Balsar will surely take notice. Besides, his Garland's achievements will be as child's play. Come, adventurer, and yield to me the secrets of your power. <laughs> Fun fact, Nero's, uh... Uh... Resent Sid because when they were little, their cooking teacher had them cook mac and cheese, where Sid bought some of the local market while Nero made a delicious home-cooked dish. Sid convinced their teacher to fill up on his. They were never tried Nero's. Oh, no! All right, let's go. Desperado! Don't want nada! All right, well, I guess he's going over here. I think you already said you were planning on doing Crystal Tower and Coils for this. I'm um, wondering if you will do the other raids like Alex or Omega. Yes, and yes. Maybe not Omega. Because I think Omega is kind of like its own separate story that I think uh, is, isn't is really all that necessary. I mean, it, it's pretty good, but um, I don't think it's as 
You know, it, it's kind of like its own separate story. Damn, Nero. Does Sid complain about how short you last in bed, too? I'm oh, sorry. Sorry. This changes nothing. Relevant to Endwalker. Okay, then. I guess I'm doing Omega. Oh, that's right, because we saw, like... Super Omega in Endwalker. In the, uh... In the test thing. Are you alright? What of Nero? Fled. Damn it. In the instant prior to the blackout, the instrument detected a massive power surge from the deepest chamber. Gaius is certain to be there. We have no time to waste. Yeah, in the benchmark. Word arrived from the Alliance a short while ago. It seemed that the Order of the Twin Adder has completed its blockade of Castrum Sentry. What hands they can spare are hastening this way even as we speak, and likewise for the Maelstrom. All that's left is to destroy the Ultima weapon. I should warn you, the chamber which houses the target appears to be saturated with etheric energies. There's bound to be heavy interference. But even if we lose contact, you must go on. Just don't do anything I wouldn't, alright? Bunui. Alright. Uh, this way. Here we go. It's time to fight the man, the myth, the legend. <laughs> Incoming TED talk. Look for the lips control panel. It'll be somewhere nearby. Take the lid down, and you should find yourself in the chamber of the Ultima Weapon. Oh, Dipper, thanks for the two months. I can't believe you're still watching. <laughs> I appreciate it, though. How glib. Keep your eyes peeled. Guys could be waiting for you down there. Oh, and don't even think about dying. I know this is supposed to be cheeky, but that's kind of tragic. How the Warrior of Light is treated in ARR is kind of tragic overall. They call us friends, but they haven't really bonded with us all that much. Tell me, for whom do you fight? Eorzea's unity is forged of falsehoods. Its city-states are built on deceit, and its faith is an instrument of deception. What is a man? It is not but a cobweb of lies. To believe in Eorzea is to believe in nothing. In Eorzea, the beast tribes often summon gods to fight in their stead. Though your comrades only rarely respond in kind. Which is strange, is it not? Are the twelve otherwise engaged? I was given to understand they were your protectors. If you truly believe them, your guardians, why do you not repeat the trick that served you so well at Cartano and call them down? They will answer. So long as you lavish them with crystals and gorge them on ether. Your gods are no different from those of the beasts. Icons, everyone. Except for this. And you will see how Eorzea's faith is bleeding the land dry. 
Uh, he's not wrong. Nor is this unknown to your masters, which prompts the question, why do they cling to these false deities? What drives even men of learning, even the great Louis Soir, to grovel at their feet? He's not wrong. With every primal summoned, it starts to drain yes. the land of ether. Your masters lack the strength to do otherwise. For the world of man to mean anything, man must own the world. He's got a reasonable motivation. He fought ever to raise himself through conflict, to grow rich through conquest. And when the dust of battle settles, it is ever the strong who dictate the fate of the weak. Cool motive, still murder. Oh yeah, absolutely. Absolutely still murder. Still murder, still... Knowing this, but a single path Conquering. That of false worship. A path which leads to elevation. Still imperialism. <laughs> Only a man of power can rightly steer the course of civilization. And in this land of creeping mendacity, that one truth will prove its salvation. Come, champion of Eorzea. Face me. Your defeat shall serve as proof of my readiness to rule. Yeah, cool murder. Uh, cool murder. Right cool murder. But none among you has the power to stop me. Is there no audio? Uh, he's. He is very quiet. Okay, sir, can we fight now? All right. Here, I'm gonna try and, like, lower the background music maybe and like or the sound effect some of these maybe that'll help hopefully all right let's see cool murder bro cool You are my dad. You're my dad. Woogie, woogie, woogie. Now die. Hold on, I got this. Hold on. I'll get him, guys. Don't worry, I'll get him. There's no way he can resist this. This, is, this this dance gives me more damage. There we go. See, he died. He died after I did it. I had not thought to be so hard pressed. Yeah, that's much better. Your strength is most impressive. Such power befits a ruler. Yet, you lack the resolve to put it to proper use. A waste. Yeah, somebody said we don't see the etherical draining in practice. That is true. They don't actually... They say that summoning primals drains ether, but we don't actually see the repercussions of that in, like, actually. Um, yet... Oh. Did... Yep, there we go. Like, we don't stop him from getting away. Yeah, we don't. We just gotta sit there and watch. Yeah, it, it, because story, arbitrary reasons. Because this is the part of the story where we need to have the final fight with him. Talk about it early in ARR about the crops near Ulda being bad. Yeah, but I mean, Ulda's a desert. <laughs> I think if they showed, I think if they showed more, his point would. Uh, I mean, I guess being told is something. Being told, even though it's not as good as being shown, being told is better than not being told at all because it lends weight to his motivations and his words. That he is right. 
Uh, but it's still murder. <laughs> Allow me then, hero, to do that which you will not. Alright, time for a really long Bear elevator ride. To the true power of the Ultimo Weapon. It is time. Ba 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 ba. Yeah! Yeah! Oh, I like this music. Gaius Van Balsar, I challenge you. Thou wouldst triumph, thou must look to the light. Notice we're not doing any damage, and then boom, suddenly, lots of damage. Oh, that's a nice little, it's, it's easy to miss, but uh, nice little scripted sequence there. We're getting Heidelin's blessings. Thou wouldst triumph, thou must look through the light. Ah, goodbye, Garuda. Garuda's essence torn from the Ultima weapon. Oh, fire, fire. I like that. That's Titan's little thingy. And there goes Titan. I like that he uses the powers of the primals. Like that that fire thing was if uh, was uh, Ifrit's fire. And the round circles was uh, Titan's stones. Wow. Look, guys, it's Endwalker Summoner. <laughs> Can't believe it. And finally, Ifrit. Yeah, that's Ifrit's attack. There he is. How are you doing this? But the Ultima weapon is all powerful. Why does my enemy still stand? Yeah, Heidelin booted out the primals. Can his strength truly be so great? It is the blessing of light that confounds you. Lahabria. Man, they didn't really touch on. Okay, they, they touched a little bit that they are in control the of Thancred. Of the crystal he bears. But not much else. So, this is what I feel like that could have used a little bit more time. 
beyond. It kind of feels like a Kingdom limits. Hearts twist where they give you the twist first and if then explain it later. The hammer of darkness must I assume be because they didn't have time. The shield of light. And so it shall, for the ultimate weapon is host to a power of which you are as yet ignorant. Because like most twists and stuff, usually there's a little bit of foreshadowing plainly, or like Axian. explanation of the concept beforehand. The heart of Sabik. It is the weapon's core, an enigma whose surface even the vaunted scholars. Of yeah, they left it at Thancred got tired scratch. and got possessed. Yes, that that's basically their explanation. He was tired the mentally, and so that left him open to be possessed. Which, like, okay, eons. sure. Of what magic do you speak? A spell without parallel. Ultima. Ah, in rage mode. I sought the life force of the primals for no other reason but to quicken the core. For the Which I guess that's what the, the patch quests are for. Tying up loose ends, explaining things heart. that weren't really explained in enough depth and detail. Lahabrea, what have you done? Only what is necessary. No more than was necessary for my god to be reborn. Damn you, Asian. The hour is at hand. Behold, but a sliver of my god's power. Oh, here it comes. Oh. And from the deepest pit of the seven hells to the very pinnacle of the heavens, the world shall tremble. Unleash Ultima! Oh. Rip those ships. I call those the oops, we didn't explain this plot quest. Yeah, very much so. That's like every Kingdom Hearts twist. They do the twist for shock value and then explain it later. Oh boy. <laughs> Say the line, Bart! Such devastation! This was not my intention. He did it! He said the line! Oh, Heidelin. It seems the task of keeping your champion alive has exhausted what strength you had left. Van Belsar, your enemy's shield is broken. The rest I leave to you. We will speak <laughs> later. He Ashen. did it. He said the line. Woo! We can go home now. All right, guys. But Good first, fight, man. Uh, I'm going to go home. You you head back you. to Garlemald. The question of who is mightier remains. You can, uh, I don't know, go have some fun with your side ch Oh. Uh, Come, adventurer. Let us find the answer together. All right. Wait a minute. This is... Oh, this is... Big Fat Tacos. That's right. Some Big Fat Tacos started here. Sorry, that, that probably makes no absolutely no sense. It'll make sense later. Yeah, all right. Look at this destruction. Somebody asked, what was your plan then if this wasn't it? Uh, he wanted to conquer, not destroy. He wanted to conquer and rule. What was the line? The line was, such devastation. This was not my intention. That was the line. All right, here we go.
And now we fight the Ultima weapon for real. There it is, there's the theme. So this theme is reused, and they add lyrics to it, and it sounds like they're saying some big fat tacos. Tacos, so big fat tacos, so big fat tacos, so big. <laughs> oh, I might die. Whoa. That was an airship. Is it a Shadowbringers thing? Yes, it is. No spoilers, anybody, everybody. But they do bring back this theme, and it sounds like they sing Big Fat Tacos. <laughs> yeah, this is the original Big Fat Taco song. And this is also the first fight that you learn about DPS checks. Because Gaius is about to cast Ultima, which is an enrage that will wipe the party. So everybody got a DPS. DPS! Yeah! No! No, no, no! Yeah! Oh no, your glamour. Heed me. The subjects of a weak ruler must needs look to a higher power for providence, and their dependence comes at a cost to the realm. The misguided elevate the frail, and the frail lead the people astray. Unless a man of power rests control, the cycle will never be broken. You, you of all people must see the truth in this. You who have the strength to rule. Uh, I wouldn't say I have the management skills. We're fine. Hello. Pathetic. You boasted of unrivaled power. You were entrusted with the ultimate weapon. The ultimate magic. And still, you failed. So much for the glory of man. The growing imbalance afflicting the planet must be redressed. Do you know Lahi Bread? If it is permitted to worsen, the very laws of existence, both etheric and physical, will be warped beyond all recognition. Know you the root of this corruption? Hydaelyn! Like a parasite, she must be burned out if the planet is to recover. And not but the return of the one true god will ensure her complete excision. Mm. Yet, to pave the way for the Master's return, a chaotic confluence of untold proportions must needs be brought about. And that will necessitate the presence of the primals. No spoilers, chat. Needless to say, both you and your Scion accomplices cannot be suffered to interfere in this endeavor. You will not leave this place alive. There we go. It is past time your flame was extinguished. 
bringer of light. Yeah, there are three boss fights in this. Wait, let's see. Does the Colossus count as a boss fight? If so, then there's four. All right, La Habrea. Let's go. Oh. You and me. Me and you. I look at him. And he looks at me. And I look at him. He looks at me. And I look at him. And he says, I'm sorry. What did you want again? I say ketchup. And he says, oh yeah, that's right. I just spaced out there for a second. I'm really kind of burned tonight. All right, there we go. GG, everybody. We did it. Oh, Shadow Flare. I remember Shadow Flare. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Awesome cutscene. Is this New Game Plus? That is what it is titled. That is what the stream is titled. And this is from the opening! This is the thing we got at the if opening when we started the game. the shadows, make thee a blade of light. This is cool. Sword and shield! And La Habre is taken out of him. The real La Habre. What? I said the real La Habrea. I gotta admit, that's fucking awesome. <laughs> Even when I played this the first time and didn't care about the story, I love that sequence. I love that sequence so much. It's cheesy and it's generic, but I love it. It's very corny. It is super duper corny, but I really, I genuinely, unironically love it. Yeah, we did it. Yeah! Ball dance! Please tell me. Please tell me you two have at least ballroom dance. Ball dance? Do you have ball dance? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Come on, you gotta, you gotta have ball dance. Ah, oh, you, yeah, you gotta need, you gotta get the dances. There are three, there are three dances that you can get in ARR, one from Ulda, one from Limza, and one from Gerdania. There's ball dance, there's step dance, and there's harvest dance. These three can be found in the first starting city states, and there are some easy, easy side quests. They're very, very fast. 
Highly recommend. There's just some nice dances. Yeah. But thank you so much, everybody, for helping me all dance. Go. G pose. I'm gonna G pose us. I'll take a screenshot. And, uh, it's like. Thank you all so much for helping me through the final few, uh, TED Talks of, of a dungeon. This is very fun to go through again. Oh, she's doing a different dance. Oh, I couldn't see it. It's fine, it's fine. A lot of XP, yeah, lots of XP. All right, here we go. All right, come along, everybody. Come on, come on. All right, let's head out of here. Let's get out of these fires. She came back. See, this is why I was like, why did, why did that armor come back? It's because we put a mammoth soul in it or a mammoth heart. Friend. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, guys. We barely knew ye. And so my conquest ends, Sid. In smoke and ashes. Whoa. Jesus. That was violent. F. Run, run, Maggie, run! Hear, feel, think. Warrior of light, beloved son. The darkness hath fled before the unclosed brilliance of thy spirit. Yet it lingereth still beyond the sight of men in forgotten corners of the world. In the depths of the abyss yet resideth the Dark One, watchful ever. Till this evil be cast out, never shall the world know aught but a passing peace. Yet, for the present, a gentle light shineth o'er the realm of Eorzea. Those crystals, that's With the crystals of the Twelve, right? its heart. Pretty sure. Or represents the Twelve. Shall it swell to glorious sun, and all the world shall bask in its warmth. Maybe? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe it's just cool looking. Blessings and joy be upon thee. Go forth, my child, and be as a beacon of hope for Eorzea and the lands beyond through all the days of thy life. My lady, all Twin Adder units have fallen back to the outer perimeter. 
could be for something else you learn about later. Maybe. Maybe I maybe you do learn about it and you get and I just wasn't paying attention. I don't know. Or maybe it's spoilers, so no spoilers if so. The flames have completed their withdrawal, General. Admiral, all hands accounted for. He's still in there. Maybe you should come and get Say, me. Rescue me yourself. Has uh, there been no word? <sighs> Nothing. Nothing at all. Oh, wait. I think I know what you mean by Shadowbringer spoilers. I see. Okay, yeah. All right. I guess so? I guess we'd have to count them. Damnation! He's going to make it. I know he is. Ida is right. We must have faith. Sid, can they not be evacuated aboard the Enterprise? That adventurer and the Scions are as the Warriors of Light reborn. We cannot abandon them to their fate. Not again. I wholeheartedly agree, but flying into the midst of that would only add to the fireworks. There must be something we can do. Please, Mother Hydaelyn. Please light his way through the darkness. Look into the light, my child. If thou would see thy companions return safe to thee, reach out to them now. There! I remember this. Cool guys don't look at explosions. Yay! <laughs> Our warrior of light. Yes, the hero returns. Look, Dikrit is with him. Thank the twelve. Thank Hydaelyn. Welcome home. Oh no, Maggie. You almost got us killed that one time, remember? Now, now, we both know that was your fault. Thank Alphino, you're the floating. Twelve, we're safe. Mind your horns there, manbull. Ha, mayhap when you mind your manners. Though the crystal that bound Thancred is no more, I doubt we can say the same of La Habrea. And even if we could, we know that he is not alone. Confounded Assians. Their god may be unknown to us, but their zeal is unquestionable. Suffice it to say, it would be folly to assume that they no longer pose a threat. Nevertheless, Oh, that's a long cheer. I'll read that after this. Oh, I think it's alive. I think it's fine. For now, we must savor what peace we have won. However ephemeral. We've met Archifont already. Do you see, Grandfather? We helped, uh... Our first step towards realizing the dream for which you gave your life. We helped him with, uh another person that was being accused of being a heretic.
Nope, nothing new in New Game Plus. Friends, the you don't dread get night of Imperial like tyranny and Asian machination is ended. A new day now begins in Eorzea. True to their name, the Scions of the Seventh Dawn, along with our champion, have delivered us from darkness. Let their shared victory serve to remind us of our shared history. And let their bravery in the face of adversity inspire future generations. Doubt <coughs> not, the realm will need bravery in the Man. days to come. Old rifts threaten to divide us within our walls, while hordes of beastmen claw at our gates. Thank you. And though the black wolf be Is slain, it just cutscenes or do you, do the quests? rest you do quests. of the pack remains. Yet no foe need we fear, so long as we stand as one. So long as the Scions stand for peace. So long as our champion stands fast. For there exists no adversity over which we may not jointly prevail. No longer can we turn a blind eye to the suffering of our allies. No nation stands alone. If one should fall, so shall we all. Eorzea is our shared home. For any one of us to know peace, so too must our neighbor. Just as we join in solidarity before you this day, so too shall our grand companies be joined henceforth to strive not only for the good of mere nations, but for the good of all the realm. Change will not come overnight. Yet I foresee a day, not so very far from now, when the lines that divide our lands fade, mm, that that and all of Eorzea is, is one. That line is that line it being has been but five short years since the Battle of Cartano. Five years since the advent of the Seventh Umbral Era. Actually, you know no what? Victory, After this, you guys want to watch that Jesse Cox away our bitter uh, sorrows. No triumph lore video can reclaim together? those we lost. It's about half an hour. Yet uh, do not presume you honor them by dwelling on the really past. It's really good. It was not the past they fought for. You would repay their sacrifice by looking to the future. A future united. As the warriors of light united in the champion. Now is the time for us to rise as one, bearing all of Eorzea on our shoulders. Minor spoiler warning. I, I watched Five it and there's ago, Eorzea bore witness nothing to the end that will of the spoil the rest of the story. Era. Now, the seventh umbral era draws to a close, yet we come together not to glory in its end, but to mark a new beginning. Let it be writ that on this day, by the light of the crystal, Eorzea ushered in a new era. The seventh astral era is come, and thus is ours a realm reborn. Hey, they said it. They said the name of the game. Da 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 da. Da 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 all right, nice. Uh, T Foxer, thank you for the bits. Hey, I just wanted to thank you for the kind words you and your friends gave me during Necrohunt. It was awesome to see the better side of the community after dealing with the not so great parts. I ended up taking a two month break from table uh, from tabletop RPGs, and I'm coming back with a renewed inspiration, running a new campaign and playing in a new campaign. 
All the love and support helps me in a way that I can't describe to recapture my passion for D&D. Hell yeah! I hope you have fun! I hope that you have found a, a wonderful group and that that game goes well. And hey, you know what? Like, so many people are too scared to, like, leave groups, but, like, sometimes the group doesn't mesh well with you. It doesn't mean that, you know, there's nothing wrong with playing things differently and not meshing well together. Uh, to quote Matt Colville, uh... It's very rare that you can get five random people and to make a band, and the band works out. You know, you kind of eventually have to find and and find out and just through practice the pe the band that works together. All right, uh, I can skip this. Right, there's nothing like important in these credits. Like everything happens after. <gasps> Mother Mion, I love you. Don't think so. The music is important. Oh yeah, their answers is playing. Yeah. Uh, there's just credits and concept art. Okay, yeah. All right. Oh yeah, this is the Meteor Survivor. These are the 1.0 players. Yeah. So those who don't know, Final Fantasy XIV. For the five of you who don't know, Final Fantasy XIV originally had a an older version that was completely different and was panned both critically and commercially. It did not do great, and it was an awful game. Um, however, there were a few people that stuck around it to the very, very end. And this is them. These are all those players, and they're in the end credits of ARR. And you can scroll through them. That is awesome. That is really, really cool. Special thanks to a lot more people. Um, yes. Yeah, they got different cutscenes and everything. They got a legacy chocobo. They got a lot of love. They got a special back tattoo. Oh, everybody's having a good time having a chit chat. I sure hope no. Oh, wait a minute. Now I'm curious about this. This still hasn't paid off in any way or, or done any I'm still curious this has got to be mentioned in Endwalker we see a darkened Hydaelyn what does it mean what does it mean what is it uh purple jolly rancher ah! Ah! what was that ah! that roll it can't be! Did you hear that? There's no time to spare! Where is it coming from? Dread tidings! Chaos and carnage! It is an abomination! A primal! A primal has awakened! Dun dun dun! A very familiar roar. And also... Is that him? Yep, he's alive. And he has friends. Cast Bahamul Bahamut stirs.
As will the others ere long. It is not a question of whether Eorzea's champion shall yield, but when. And with each passing moment, we draw closer to the record. So many of them. Jeez. Anthropost. Zodiac. They never do this again either. Yeah, we never see them unmasked. And thus did dawn break on a realm reborn. But where there is light, there is also shadow. Yeah! Hello, hello, hello. Yeah, look at them. Oh, it's the three brothers. There they are. Hey, you've come a long way since I first saw you running around the Waken Sands. Ah, you sure gave those Imperials what for. I knew you were something special, Victor. I reckon a lot more folk could take up adventuring after hearing about what you've done. Brave men and women all hoping to become the next Victor Quibbles. At least I get to brag about having met one. The original, eh? Yeah, there's three of them for all the three starting areas. Hey, Rin, what's up? All right, how about... Well, how is Shadow Cheese... Oh man, shadow cheese sounds delicious. By the gods, to think that this ragtag band of idealists could lay the 14th low. This is a tale straight from any storybook. I imagine my former associates would find it most appealing. After all, what young ruffian hasn't at one point fancied himself a hero in the making? I, I think I may bring more than a few recruits back to me, uh, with me from the Twelves Wood. Aww. Oh, it's l l uh, Il Il Iliad. We had a vigil at the church until word came of your success. I cannot express to you how relieved I am by your safe return, Victor. Sid, I think we could do with a good rest, don't you? I know I could. I still haven't had time to think about everything that happened, about Nero and Gaius. Don't call him back. Trust me, you're gonna get a thought in your mind. Maybe I should call my ex. Don't. Don't. Arnvald! One day I hope to become an advent uh, a hero to people like you. A hero like Abba and Auli were to me. Oh, Arnvald. Watching you live the life of a, a free adventurer has helped me realize that I can't keep putting off my dreams forever. I've been talking with Wedge about opening up a workshop, independent of Garland Ironworks, maybe in Vilbrand, I don't know. Working with the Chief is great and all, but someday I want to build my own enterprise, you know? Your oh, chase your dreams. You're an inspiration to us all, Victor. An honest to God's hero that never gives up, never gives in. And neither will I, how oh, Winter Taru's heart. See if I don't. Oh, oh I hope, uh, hope she's good at Speak in her mind. Nobody in here? Oh, it's all it's all done up again. Oh, no, it's all cleaned up. Sweet. It's all cleaned up and nice. Oh, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Wow, this is nice. Everyone's just kind of here. So a new era has begun on such a momentous occasion. I find it good for the soul to tie up loose ends. Hmm? What would I suggest you do? Why, the same thing you always do after accomplishing a task. Report to Minfilia. <laughs> it ends where it begins, my friend. <laughs> we all decided to give you a special surprise welcome, just like the ones in Heroic Epics. Your story took many twists and turns, but you managed to get the, to the happy ending. Let's hope for more happy endings to come. Ingrid? I realize I've been causing uh, the cause of tremendous uh, consternation. And for that, I deeply apologize. 
Ah, uh, but you haven't the time to waste chatting with me. Minfilia is expecting you. The land my master, sheltered from oblivion, hath been delivered into a new beginning by the hand of the warrior light. Thus doth history mark the passing of an era. The dawn doth brighten the sky, and shineth o'er this s nascent age of hope. And though the clouds gather to mute the sun rising glory, I would walk far with thee under its gentle glow. Oh, that was beautiful. Welcome back, welcome back, warrior of light. We all, all of us, prayed for your safe return. The seventh astral era has dawned, setting in motion a myriad of new beginnings. I suspect our paths will diverge for a time. Have you said your farewells to the Scions? I have not, but I will. I have spent yonder fortnight preparing the waking sands. Oh yeah, Urianje was the one that fixed it up. Yeah. Was he not part of the power friendship attack? Well, he's kind of, I think at this mo point, they kind of only expected him to be like a tertiary character. Kind of like Biggs and Wedge in them. Where men go as one, there is life. Where there is life, there is cause to hope. The light of hope shines brilliantly within you, Victor. I only wish my grandfather were here to see it. Aww. Bye bye, Alphino. The Archons have conducted a preliminary investigation into the origin of the roar that rang out during the celebration. The findings strongly suggest that a new primal has appeared. The roar generated a distinctive wave pattern in the ether, a pattern observed only once before in history. Five years ago, to be precise. I should like to think it mere coincidence, yet we cannot discount that possibility. Well, I trust I need say no more. A at great sacrifice, we have delivered Eorzea from the threat posed by the Empire and the Primals, and thereby secured peace. We cannot well allow the realm to be plunged into chaos once more. You have given all of uh, you have given your all for our cause, risking life and limb on I know not how many occasions. Yet our struggles continue, and we need you now no less than before. Please continue to stand with us, and together we shall safeguard the future of the realm of this very star. Yay, the ultimate weapon! Hell yeah. This is where the fun begins. Flying unlocked, yeah. You now fly while mounted in Lenosha, Thanalan, the Black Shroud, Corthus, Central Highlands, and Mordona. 2.0 is... Over. And now I end the stream. I was going to watch the, the video, but I think I went a little bit long and I'm hungry again and tired. So I will simply link it. Uh, it's a very, very good video. There are no spoilers. There a little are, overwhelmed. There are no significant spoilers in this video, so don't worry about being spoiled. But it is done by Jesse Cox. It is fantastic. What's my character's casual wear? Should I put it on? Here, I'll put on my casual wear. Uh, I have two. I have this one, the casual outfit. And then I have uh, this one, the cozy outfit. Yep. Yeah, I, I, I think this one's more iconic. I, I like this one. But yeah, uh... Yeah, Jesse, Jesse gives you the basic vernacular about what things mean and kind of the world set up, the different continents and countries and stuff like that. But there are no major spoilers, don't worry. Uh, like, there are nothing that he says is not revealed within ARR in some way. So don't worry, uh, it's not spoiler. So in the, me in the meantime, I'm going to look for someone to raid. Thank you very much, everyone, for watching. Let's see, let's see who's online. And remember, next week we do the glamour contest. I will make a post. Follow my Twitter, or you know, if you're on, if you're subscribed to my YouTube, 
I will be in the community page. Who shall we raid? You know what? We're gonna raid the person who stuck with me through thick and thin, uh, despite all my bitching and and whining about not liking this game and oh yeah, but she was still willing to play with me and endure uh, all of that nonsense. She's a good friend, my good pal, Shenpai. So, we are going to raid her. And uh, what shall our raid message be? She's playing uh, Yakuza Judgment right now. New, like a remake of one of the Yakuza games. What about egg? Egg was good. I, I had good egg. Everyone egg. Show her egg. Good night, everybody. Thank you for tuning in. Bye.